And the hype train is rolling. What's up, everybody? Happy April 1st. I don't know what that means. Don't worry, this stream is not a full April Fool's joke. This is a normal stream. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. That's what we're doing today. I decided we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to make a bunker in the mountain. I want to make a secret tunnel to it. April 2nd there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Aussies. You Aussies. <laughs> in New Zealand as well, I suppose. Everyone over there. April 2nd. So, you know, you're done with the April Fool's jokes, right? <laughs> you guys like the, uh, the real life video? <laughs> oh, man. If that video made you nauseous, imagine being in it. Holy cow. <laughs> that scene where I jump from up at up at the villager house down into the water did not do it justice how nauseating that was. That jump was terrifying. I almost fell over IRL. Minecraft VR. Oh. <laughs> it was tough. <laughs> oh. Although, being able to swing my sword... IRL. I was much better than in than, than typical life series, I will say that. <laughs> I did see Scar fall out of his wheelchair. That was crazy. Um Scar showed us the whole the whole scene and it was too much. It, it was like it was funny and then it wasn't. You know what I mean? It got real. <laughs> so oh uh, luckily he's okay. That could have gone much worse for him. Charms, thank you so much for the five gift sub bomb. So now the question is, I'm seeing everybody ask this question. Now the question is, since you all are now aware that the entire gigs, including the double G gigs, no, triple G, we have three Gs. Wow. It's like old school cell service. All of us have the, uh, VR headsets. I think we, uh, all of us have the Oculus 3 or 2 at least. So we could potentially play VR in Phasmo. I haven't tried it yet. I need to make sure that it like runs okay and we could actually... I like dabbled. I got out of the truck and into a house and that, that was tough. But I haven't actually like played played to make sure it's like streamable. Um, and not going to make everybody nauseous. Because I'm pretty sure the video today made people nauseous. <laughs> At least half my comments say that. Uh, Mundane Ace, thank you so much for the five gift sub bomb. It was a fun little, a fun little thing to do for a little April Fool's goof, you know. It's a nice April Fool's. It's not a joke necessarily. It was still content for you guys, but obviously it wasn't like a real season of the life series. AZN Bunny, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Kyberg60 with the 300 bits. Thank you so much for that. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. We got some, some resubs in the house. 50 months strong from Togiro? Joe? Jeez. Thank you, Stormageddon said the series is so funny. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Kennedy, thank you so much for the continued support. Uh, I'm glad you could be here. I'm glad, the, uh, I'm glad uh, you're enjoying the streams. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Starting our week off. Starting our week off. Guys, this week is a, is is a, is an amazing week. It's going to be an amazing week. Um, busy week. It's going to be a busy week. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get everything done that we want to get done. Uh, Saturday, if you haven't heard. This coming Saturday, uh, we are doing a charity event for Gamers Outreach. Do you guys remember when we did the Gamers Outreach charity event? However long ago it was? <laughs> Year and a half ago or so? Um, we're going to be doing it again. This time it's going to be a little bit longer. We're going to have we're going to have some extra little bits and bobs to it um, to make it extra special. Yeah, we raised uh, 425000 plus. Uh, I think there was still stuff coming in after the stream ended. Um, so 425,000 we raised last time for Gamers Outreach, and since then, I have actually got a chance to go see what kind of impact that event had in in person, 
in person. I've been to hospitals that got the carts delivered to them, talked to real patients, kids, and parents in these hospitals using these carts. And uh, they've explained how much these, these gaming carts have meant to them as their kids are going through um, you know, the hardships of, of things like chemotherapy and just long stays in hospitals. And it's just, it's amazing what impact that event did. And we are looking forward to um, hopefully making just as much of an impact this time around, if not more. So um, this is what's going on this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday. Um, there'll be stuff going on. Uh, definitely Saturday is the big one. Uh, we're going to have... Multiple things happen uh, throughout the stream. It's going to be a longer stream than last time. Uh, one of which... Not going to be VR Faz, probably, but might get a Phasmo session with the gigs crew during the uh, the stream. We'll see. Uh, it's one of the things we're tossing around to, to throw on the docket for the day. Um, so yeah, those are you that are jonesing for some gigs Phasmo. Hopefully you'll get that fixed on Saturday. Um, it's going to be a nice, nice long stream. So hopefully you guys can catch it. Um, it's kicking off 8 a.m. Pacific time, uh, and it's going to go for a while. Not even sure how long we got, we got, we got lots of bits and bobs that we're, we're starting to plan for the, for the deal. Um, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And hopefully we can, we can, uh, make another dent and, and get more carts delivered because that was the one thing the hospital said was they wish they had more. They could, they like, they're, they're basically their departments in the hospital were are fighting over the carts. <laughs> so, uh, more hospitals throughout the world, more carts in these hospitals would do a wonder of good for for all these, um, you know, suffering children and parents. It was amazing to find out that the parents were also like very appreciative. In fact, like one parent said, every time their child would go in to, uh, you know, whatever tests and stuff that needed to be done they would they would play the video games while they were waiting for their kid to get back to keep to keep their mind off of what their kid was going through um and so it was it was great it was it's good stuff guys it's good stuff so hopefully you guys can help support the charity on saturday and uh on sunday as well anyway uh, looking forward to it but lots lots going on this week in order to make sure we've got all of our ducks in a row for that scar already announced there's going to be some charity stuff or, or some charity some auction stuff um, so we'll have some items up for auction that you guys can bid on. I may or may not have had a few plushes left over from the past plush runs. Do I have one up? Like this guy here? Wait, you can't see my head's in the way. This guy here? I might have a few extra of those. This guy up here? Can you see him? No, you can't. He's so far away. You twos as well. I had a few extra stuff from before. It'll be up for auction that will all go to the charity as well. So you guys will be able to, to uh, bid on some stuff, get some physical items. I think a few other hermits are chipping in a few things here and there. Scar's got a really cool Scarland uh, book that he's shown on Twitter already. It's going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be awesome. But that will be in this week is going to be crazy busy for for me <laughs> and, the, and the rest of the hermits. So hopefully we'll be able to, to stick to most of our streams and stuff. Opossum Bloom, thank you for the four dollars and twenty cents. Today is my best friend's birthday. Could Caden potentially get a birthday yo-yo? Absolutely, to Caden. <laughs> Happy birthday, Caden. Hope you have a good one. Joe's already announced uh, that he's gonna auction off his his abacus. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sweet. There you go. <laughs> ah, thank you, Opossum. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Randy, thank you for the thousand bits. Tony J, five thousand bits. Holy smoke. Love the joke video today. Love the streams and the videos. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Sam, thanks for the five months. Watching from the shadows. All good, all good. Lurk away, my friend. Terry Ryder, thank you for the ten gift sub. Boom! Change my lights. Well done. Snarkbone, thanks for the thousand bits. Enjoyed watching your content while recovering from surgery. I'm all in for this charity stream. Thanks for the good work. Uh, th awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. I'm glad you're recovering. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you were in for surgery, you know, like being in the hospital sucks, right? Being in the hospital sucks. I, I, I don't know if I've ever heard anybody do this. Be like, I like being in the hospital, you know? 
Um, so to give, uh, to have these carts to take the mines off of it, to, to give them something fun to do while being stuck in the hospital, going through whatever they're going through, um, is a big deal. It's a big deal. So hopefully we can get enough money raised to, to get some more carts to more hospitals this weekend. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have a lot of fun. We got some plans brewing. <laughs> we got some plans brewing and it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun stream guys. Um, last one was fun. We, you know, we played mini games here on the Hermitcraft server and there might be a little bit of that and stuff too, but we got some other ideas that are going to make the day real fun. Okay. Let's get to work. Okay. So I can't guys, I can't. Mm. I got a video coming out tomorrow. Okay. I would love to show you what I made. You got a little glimpse of it Friday night. I built it on Friday. So this is, it's been sitting on the server for a few days now. And I'm debated on whether or not I should show you guys. Cause it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of one of the best builds I've ever built. I got a little help from B-dubs, of course. Cause I've had this, I've had this, Huge fear ever since we started this cyberpunk city project together that Everything he built was gonna be so obvious that it was his build and what I built was gonna be so obvious that it was my build because B-dubs is amazing uh, and I'm still learning how to build kind of you know I've always just leaned on my redstone and in and, 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 and that That's exactly what I wanted to hear Okay, so Pearl showed it. Green like flew over it in his video. He he didn't spoil it. He, he green flew over as I was building it. And that was not a spoiler. That was a sneak peek. That like a like a a, a, a tease because <laughs> it's nowhere. It was nowhere. I was nowhere near done when he when he flew over. But if Pearl came over and thought it was B Dubs' build, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I don't know, guys. I I want to show you, but also I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Yeah, I don't want to completely show it. I'll give you a far away sneak peek. How about that? We'll meet in the middle. We'll meet in the middle. I'll show you it from far away. Okay, so we don't get into the details of it. All right. Oh, I got to go fix my wings. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, there's also going to be exclusive previews over there that I want to avoid. Joel's up to something. Okay. Hold on. Let me just drop my uh, my stream quality down to, uh, what is it, 360? <laughs> okay. Now, you guys have seen... I want to, like, back into this. You guys have seen B-dubs' builds. He just went to town, did, like... Yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh. Here we go. B Dubs went to town, built like six buildings in one episode. He just went for it, you know? He crazy. He crazy. We love him, but he's crazy. Uh, he went for it. Obviously, you know, same kind of style. Not style, but same kind of uh thing. Not a ton of detail, you know. Big buildings like this, you we could really get wrapped up in over detailing as well, but I, I you know. I think there's going to be more to come with some of these, but he got the buildings up so that we could at least start to see the skyline, uh, which is, I think, a big deal. I think it's a huge deal. He did an amazing job. He's so good. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> oh, so good. Terry, thanks again for that 10 gifted subs. You guys are amazing. Snarkbone, thanks again for the thousand bits. Astro Squint, thanks for the hundred bits. You watching with your kids while they're on spring break? Oh, spring break. Mine are, my kids' spring break have come and gone already. It's crazy how, like, throughout, I guess, the world, spring breaks are distributed differently. But nice. Enjoy your spring break. Uh, Karina Faye, thank you for the $3.14. Hey, Impulse, I'm so glad you and the Hermits will be doing more charity live streams. My husband and I donated for the game carts, and we were super happy about it. We would never have guessed that my nephew would be one of the kids they would got to get to use one of the carts. That's amazing. See, we do these things, right? 
Oh man, I'm gonna get emotional. Uh, we get a chance to do these things. You know, I did No Kid Hungry multiple years in a row, like three years in a row, right? And lots of money was raised and it was great, but I never once get to see the money that was raised from those streams like actually make it into like the food getting delivered physically to the kids in need. You know what I mean? Like we can see pictures and stuff, but um, whereas the carts, I literally got to be there in person, touch the cart. I played on the cart um, and I got to talk to people using it and get their firsthand like experiences and what it meant to them and see it in their eyes, how much it meant to them. Oh, it was it was so touching. Um, so I'm excited to be part of this again. And thank you guys so much, those of you that, that were able to contribute. And if you're able to contribute this time around, um, thank you. You're doing you're doing so much more than you know. I can vouch for that because I've been able to see it personally. Five gifted sub bomb from USA Sazi Nations. Oh, I got that right. Thank you so much. $10 can you dig it from Nexi? Nexi? <laughs> There's a W on the other. I have no idea how to say your name. Thank you for the great content. It's bringing me so much joy. Thank you. 107 bits from Callus Unicorn. Thank you. Thank you. Am I coming to TwitchCon in Rotterdam this year? No, I'm going to do the San Diego one. I'm not going to go overseas for it. Um, yeah, I'll wait for the San Diego one because that's an easy trip for me. I would love to go overseas for TwitchCon, but I just haven't been able to really justify it yet in my mind. It's a, it's a big trip, you know. But uh, maybe next time. Well, we'll see. This, I've only been to one TwitchCon. Uh, so I, maybe after this this next one, I'll get like a, a bug to never miss a TwitchCon, even if it's overseas. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, okay. So B-Dubs outdid himself, which I didn't know was possible because he was already pretty much the most amazing builder I've ever seen. And he somehow continues to top it. So what I did was... I, I said, okay, I've been super nervous to build anywhere near him, right? Because, because of that concern that w if I built something, it would not hold a candle to this amazingness. So he said, don't worry, I got you. Let's just hang out. Let's hang out in creative for a day. And it was almost a full day. We hung out in creative. I gave him my vision. Uh, you know, I, I built, I, sh I shaped it, I shaped the building, and then him and I together turned it into amazing stuff. <laughs> him and I together, I mean, he, B Dubs will tell you that I did 99% of it. That's, he, he's, he's too nice. He's too nice. There's some major parts of it that really make it stand out that is his touch for sure. Uh, but, he taught me a lot that day, so I got myself a personal, yeah, master class with B-dubs. It was amazing. Um, and because of that, was able to build something that I've, I, it's probably the most proud I've ever been of a build that I've ever done. That's it. There's some power lines in the way. <laughs> There's some power lines in the way at a bus stop in the way, but but that's it. It's uh Yeah. There's a couple there's a couple B dubs fingerprints on this one. You guys see the uh the details in the texturing of the like corners? That was him, of course. That was him, of course. And coming up with the sandstone and and uh, the white concrete and stuff, and then the other big B Dubs fingerprint that's on this one. There's a fan. There's a fan right there in the middle. He says circle. That was him as well. Oh, and the number on it. <laughs> he put a random number on the building. <laughs> he's like, yeah, doesn't mean anything, but so. Yeah, he's got his he's got his fingers on this a little bit, but yeah, for the most part, it was him coaching me, and uh, I was able to put this together. Ugh. We'll we'll get closer looks in the video. We'll get closer looks in the video. <laughs> but yeah, that was an exciting one. That was an exciting one for me. I can't wait for the video to come out tomorrow. I, I've been I've been kind of like taking my time with this episode. 
That was uh, that was a lot of work. Oh, we're gonna go to the gold farm real quick. Repair. Let's go to the gold farm and repair our lights. What do we got? We can make it there at least. And then we'll get into doing what the stream title says. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. I was watching the new um, live action Avatar series on Netflix. Anybody else watching that? Anybody else been watching that? I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the animated Avatar series. Big fan. I think I've watched it two or three times. I was uh, not as super impressed with M. Night Shyamalan's version. The live action. You call it live action? I don't know. Yeah, it's live real people, I guess. Um, I was not super impressed with M. Night Shyamalan's movie version of Avatar. It was okay, but... You know, I was a big fan of Avatar Animated, so I, I was, I was hoping for more. Um, so far, I've been pretty impressed with the Netflix live action. It's a series. We're gonna turn turn game down. It's a series, um, and they're sticking really close. It's been so far. I feel like it's been pretty close to the original animated series, and I've been enjoying it. And we literally just got to the, the secret tunnel part the other night. And it was coming up. The part was coming up. And I looked at my youngest daughter and I was like, Do you know what's do you know what this is gonna be? And and she kind of looked at me, she kind of smirked, and I so I I think she did, but she she wasn't she was kind of like scared to say. And I just started singing, Secret Tunnel, Secret Tunnel. And so I pulled up on my phone and showed her the original. And so I'd, I'd paused it, you know, and sure enough, as soon as I unpaused, they, they it, at first I was like, oh, maybe they're not going to do it. Maybe there's some sort of copyright or something that they're not going to do the song. And then they did it. They busted into it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. More stickers, Sam. <laughs> keep, keep collecting. Keep collecting them stickers, man. Don't know what you're going to do with them. 2,862 stickers. Jeez. Thanks for 100 bits. Dev Dev Thrills, thanks for the nine, uh, $6.90. Thank you so much for the can you dig it. Dude, Impulse, this build is amazing. Best build from you have seen. Bravo, buddy. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Obviously couldn't have done it without without B-dubs uh, being by my side. And and uh, just, just man, it's just, he's so, it's, it was just an inspiration, you know, to, to uh, get feedback like right there I'm like placing blocks and I step back and I'm like yeah I'm not sure about this and and ah oh, B-Dubs is so supportive half the time if not more he was like dude you nailed it and like he just he just swelled my confidence so much and honestly I'm when you're trying something new I think that's the hardest thing is getting over the imposter syndrome getting over Oh, I haven't showed you guys this. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I've never showed you guys this. Uh, then I changed this. Yeah. Yeah, I made <laughs> I, the, the way I got it so that we weren't. What is that? Okay, that's not usual. That's going to go away. Um, there was items getting stuck on here. So I put a cauldron in and you have to crouch. <laughs> to, and now items don't don't get stuck. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think I think when you're learning something new, it takes a long time before you can get confidence in that thing. Because it's new and it feels awkward and you're and you you're not sure if you're getting good at it or, or whatever. And man, B dubs was just so supportive. You know, even if I did something and it wasn't quite like to his standards, he he would he would say something nice and um and then he would just be like, I think you could make it even better if and then he would uh give throw out an idea and he wouldn't he wouldn't spoon feed any of it. That was, he really should do a master class. He didn't spoon feed it. He wasn't like, oh, just, I'm just, let me just fix this corner for you. And takes the blocks out and puts them in. He's like, he's like, oh, if you think about it, these edges would be worn down by, by weathered or, you know, drainage or whatever and so the, these areas could definitely use some darker texturing or lighter texturing or whatever and then 
he would throw out some block ideas and and allow me to play some and and uh, see what I liked. You know, it wasn't about him anymore. It was like, uh, you know, it wasn't like, no, I don't think that looks good. He would wait for me to do enough to be like, okay, that looks good to me. But then because I was I was still, you know, the student, I would be like, oh, well, what do you think? You know, and uh, and a lot of times he was just like, yeah, you crushed it. And confidence just started to swell, you know, and then I was like, I'm, I got this. I got this. I'm ready. It was great. It was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> you know, next to getting married and having kids and stuff, you know, but <laughs> it was great. It was, it was great. Holy, is that a, what? That's a hundred gifted subs. I saw the chat go a hundred. Gong in, gong in two. Jeez, a hundred gift sub bomb and a half. What? It's insano. You're amazing. Jeez. <laughs> what? What in the world? What in the world? That's a lot of subs. If you guys get gifted a sub, make sure you say thank you. What? What? Holy cow. Subs. I haven't seen a gift sub bomb like that in a while. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Make sure you say thank you if you're one of the lucky recipients of the gift sub there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know, Sam, you were probably the last one that dropped something that big. Jeez. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. So I think I'll finish my video today on that build and some other stuff that went on in the episode. Uh, and then immediately I want to start working on my next episode. I want to get after it. Okay. I need your help, though. I need your help. Oh, also, by the way, I should probably show this in my video. This is finished. You guys remember we were working on this? I might have to free cam this. It's tight in here. All right, get ready. Let's just get off, get ahead of it. Lame. I finished this. Remember, I think where where we left off was just these tubes, basically. Um, so this is our our smelting array. It's it's small. I don't need anything big. Eight furnaces. As long as we can smelt stuff when we need to, we're good. So it's it's simple concept. The items to be smelted come up here. They go into this cart. Once there's more than 16 items, I couldn't get this perfect, um, which makes me sad. I really wanted this to eject at exactly 16 items every single time. Um, but with the timing of how items were flowing through, it was like hit or miss. Sometimes it was 15, sometimes it was 17, 18. Um, and I just couldn't get the timing perfect. So, uh, I, I, there's a little extra buffer. Like if we look in here, there's probably some items, uh, left from the last batch. Just means that like, if I really need a full stack of something, I need to throw a full stack and then some in it. Can I reach? Where is this cart? <laughs> I can't find it. Do I have scaffolding? <laughs> Let's get up there. Um, I did do something pretty cool with this one. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, man. That's interesting. Okay. So as I smelt some things, the leftovers kind of just get divvied up in the hopper. Okay. It's not the end of the world, but... So if I threw in something else here, like stone, then these would probably get distributed first, I'm assuming, and then the stone would be left over. And then that stone may never get... Yeah, that's okay. I could make a manual trigger just to get the job done, yeah. Uh, I think I did that with my last one. I had the same kind of problem with the last one. One thing I did do that was pretty cool with this one is every single furnace is ready to go with lava buckets, right? So fuel-wise, it's, it's pretty cool. And then obviously the output comes down, uh, and, and I'll show you guys down here. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to I gotta show this in my video. There's a good chance I'll just forget. Um, okay. So we put this in. Now we hear bubbling in our storage room constantly. 
It's fine. Um, oh, did they change the texture on cauldrons for real? I have this. So if we take off our, our deco vanilla tweaks pack and we put in our redstone vanilla tweaks pack, look at what this does for us. Now with the cyberpunk city, I'm mostly going to stay in the deco, right? Because I, I want, when I put down cauldrons and stuff in the city and observers, I, I don't want the, the, the arrows and stuff on them and these, but look in, in here, this is kind of cool because we can see which cauldrons have lava, right? So if we go and we collect, here's the other really cool thing. Eight furnaces, right? Let's smelt something for it. Just, just to do it. Just to do it. Let's, let's see. What can we, what happens if we smelt, let's make crack stone bricks. Yeah. Okay. So we throw it in our input chest, smelting input right here. Bang. Now what's going to happen is we're going to see eight lava buckets. Empty, eight empty buckets come in here because now it just started using, and this is a total waste of fuel, I get it, but it doesn't matter because we have infinite. So eight buckets are going to come into this chest soon, I hope, and now we know those eight need to be refilled. And then we just, and I'll show you what happens. It's, it's really cool. Here we go. Here comes the buckets. So now it's smelting up there, right? And that means we need to refill these eight buckets. So now that we can, we got this, we just go bang, 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 bang. Okay. And now we put it in our smelting fuel. Whoop. And now we know our system is perfectly back up and full of fuel. So if there's empty buckets in here, we know that we need to turn around. Here we go. We need to turn around and fill them. And now we can actually see which ones need it. Now, what happens if I put too much in there? Watch this. Uh, let's take these. Let's say we kind of lost track, right? And we just think, oh, let's just fill this thing up. Why not? Let's let's go ahead and put make sure. Okay. If we put too much in there, watch what happens. This better work. Don't make me look like a fool. <laughs> Oh, we needed to bop those, not bang those. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, thanks for the 100 bits. <laughs> be a good boy. Be a good boy. <laughs> Grim Bear, Burb, thank you so much for the, the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Here we go. So the system knows. Nah, I'm good. I'm good on fuel. I don't need you. And it just returns it. It literally just returns it. And that's that's one way to check. Oh, do we are we full on fuel? <laughs> Did I say beard? Grim burb. Did I get that right? I'm good at butchery knives. Thank you so much for the raid. Nana to Panda, thanks for the thousand biddies. My friend Callum, who is a uh, Lycan child's husband, will have a birthday tomorrow. Please, happy birthday, Yu Yo, for him. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Yu Yo, to Callum. <laughs> hope you have a good one. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. So cool to see. <laughs> oh, good. I'm good. Oh, good. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Lycan. <laughs> Make sure he has a good birthday, Lycan. Okay? 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 Anyway, so I'm happy with this. This this works. You see what I mean, though? I put in a full stack, and only 53 got done. Same here. 52 got done. Um, so if I keep throwing more stuff in, eventually these, these cracked stone bricks will come back to me, but it's, it's okay. Until, ooh, at some point there might be a problem. I'm not going to worry about that yet. <laughs> let's, 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 let's pretend there's no problems with the system. It's absolutely perfect. VR Phasma win. Yeah, I want to check it out for sure. Um, VR Minecraft was, <laughs> It took me a while. It took me a while to, to, to not be nauseous and sick while uh, while playing VR Minecraft. There was a couple times when I almost fell over. Yeah, I look for I look down over an edge of something and I almost IRL just like face planted into my desk. 
Jungle Jane's daughter is turning 21 today. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, now things are on the table like VR Phasmo, VR Among Us. We'll see. We'll see. I got to use the headset for something. Uh, which one was I using? Ah! I got this guy. Hold on. Let me hook back up. I about pulled my earbuds out of my desk. It's this guy. It's the Oculus Meta whatever 3. It's the 3. See, it's got the the three cameras in the front. Actually, no, there's only two cameras. What's the other one for? I don't even know. Anyway, it was this one. Meta Quest 3. There you go. It worked out great. <laughs> Gem was the goat. Did you not see what I did? <laughs> I didn't. I haven't got a chance to see Gem's video yet. Uh, there was something about being like knowing that it was. Yeah, no, 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 no spoilers. No spoilers. Just, just, just no. Just no. I, I, uh, had a good time. Two cameras and a depth sensor. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I need your help. I need your help. Did I get Apple's? No, it's like $5,000 VR set, isn't it? No. No, I did not. Okay. Let's go outside. Let's, let's, let's take a look. We've done a lot of talking, not a lot of doing. Oh, let's just sleep. That didn't last long. Sleeping through the night. I was gonna, I, I did have a, or my daughter had a Oculus or Meta Quest 2, whatever they're called. I was gonna use that one, but I, I heard the frame rates weren't as good and I was a little worried the video quality wouldn't be as good because of that. So, I got the three. Plus my, my daughter, uh, you know, sweat all over that one and I didn't want to be bothered to have to clean it. <laughs> Playing Gorilla Tag, you know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, people being amazing, thank you. Chief Running Mouth, thank you for the $3.14. Hey man, help all as well, just sent you an email about a graffiti eye for your wall, as well as a play on another famous street art. We'd love to chat more about images for you. Hope you like them, feel free to share them. They're yours now. Thank you so much, Chief Running Mouth. Um, I'm not sure how much graffiti I'm gonna do on the wall, but if any other hermits are struggling for ideas for graffiti, maybe I'll pass some of your stuff on, if you don't mind, that'd be cool. I'll take a look. Thank you. Solar Aurora. Thank you for the $25. Can you dig it? Jeez. Today marks a whole decade of following and watching you. And what a 10 years it's been. Watching your channel grow year by year and your content getting better and better has been amazing. Here's to the next 10 years. Solar Aurora. Thank you so much. 10 years. Jeez. Wow. 10 years. That's crazy. Think back what I like the kind of stuff I was making and doing ten years ago, and I definitely have changed a lot in the in in the way I play Minecraft. It's crazy to think. Cat pay one. Thank you so for the five gift sub bomb. Jeez, KVG. Thanks for hundred bits. You guys, are, what's going on today? You guys, I'm almost inclined to ask you guys to save some of this love for the charity. You know, you guys, I appreciate it. I do, <laughs> but. <laughs> You guys are amazing. Thank you. Uh, Red Legion, thank you for $2. Trying to pet my cat, but my cat wants to eat my hand. I think he just likes the taste of human flesh. Yeah, Luna will do that. Luna will do that for uh, sometimes. Just, just try to bite my hand. Yeah, charity on Saturday. If you guys just got here, um, we got a charity event coming up on this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, there'll be some bits and bobs Sunday. Sunday is going to be a little bit more just like ad hoc as people can do whatever they can do. Um, but Saturday is is getting getting a lot of things going on. It's it's building quick. The list of things we want to do for for Saturday just to keep the keep the stream going type thing, you know, uh, with fun and games for the day is is growing. So it's gonna be a fun long day of of uh, just amazingness. You know, we're we're raising uh, money for gamers outreach, which is. A, you know, charity that, that makes gaming carts that can go in hospitals for kids that are, are stuck in the hospital for, for long stays, you know, uh, cancer treatment and things like that. So it's it's a re it's an amazing thing. It's amazing, amazing charity. And we're hoping to uh, 
Yeah, we're hoping to do some good again. Just like we did last time. If not more, that'd be great. But yeah, it's this Saturday. It's this Saturday. It's crazy. This, this thing's been, we've been tossing this idea about for a while, and it's coming to fruition now, and it's, it's, it's nuts. Okay, guys, I'm not going to go gem cam. I'm also, I also have to avoid some things Joel is doing. Over there. <laughs> okay. What is that? There's a hole in the mountain, and that feels perfect. We got to go gem cam, I think. Uh, we can do. We got to go gem cam. Okay. So I'm looking at the mountain, and I'm looking at this bit right here. I think makes perfect bunker. Like, we could put a front face on the bunker right here. Right? We want to get into the bunker from underground. We talked about this on stream a while back. We made the decision. Um, we're going to go underground, travel underground through a secret tunnel. And then... Uh, ooh, go more diagonal. That could make life interesting. Uh, and then come up into the bunker. Why is it called gem cam? I don't know. Skiz started calling it that and it just became a thing. I have no idea. Gem, gem hates the free cam stuff. But it's the only way that I can get a, a decent, like, a static view to visualize things. I try not to use it for cheaty stuff any, anymore. Really been trying. <laughs> KVG, thanks for another 100 bits. Thank you. We could do a diagonal there. It will make it more challenging. For sure. Anymore. <laughs> you caught that. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Do we go flat on this surface? Which... We're getting pretty close to Joel stuff there. So maybe... Or do we go here diagonal and try to do a diagonal bunker? I've, I'm kind of up for the challenge, to be honest. I'm kind of up for it. I'm kind of here for it, right? It will be a challenge, and it will probably limit some of the things that we can do design-wise. But those kind of challenges... Help you grow as a builder. Hmm. I have uh, I have been perusing Pinterest. <laughs> this is my new thing. B Dubs taught me this. <laughs> Not Pinterest specifically, but like getting inspiration from art. You know, art station, Pinterest, whatever. Finding things that are out there. To get inspired by and then um i was falling into this thing of like i see something i create that thing you know that thing like one to one oh i take that painting and i make it into blocks and uh that was lacking that was lacking some kind of like um connection for me you know i'd get done and be like okay i basically recreated that but in minecraft and it's still not mine you know and so he taught me <laughs> to kind of like just use it as inspiration, <laughs> you know, not go recreate that thing. So that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get some inspiration for this bunker off of some things I've seen, Fallout 4, um, some Pinterest things. And so just think, sh thinking through some of the things I've saw, I saw that I wanted to do, um, I think we can do it diagonally. I think we can still do it. Yeah, Cheyenne Mountain was one that was mentioned um, that I looked at. Yep. Um... I haven't figured out exactly if I want this to still be cyberpunk style or more dystopian or a mix like what B-Dubs is doing mainly in the, in the slum part of the cyberpunk city. So I I don't know. I think it is going to be more dystopian if I'm honest. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm leaning. I kind of want it to be almost a different style build altogether than the city. You know, like I want our cyberpunk city to be its cyberpunk thing, but then this vault be like my base and it's different. So that's where I, that's kind of where I'm like waffling. Anyway, wh whether or not we uh, well, it doesn't matter if we build it in the corner because that's where we want to make our secret tunnel to. 
But it'll be easy to change things up if we need to do that. This gets me a little further away from Joel's stuff. So, and we can go up a little higher even. Like into this bit right here. Like I, I feel like this bit right there is just asking for it. And that way it's above the building as well. So visually, you get a better view of it. What does dystopian mean? I, it means more like worn down, like it's it's met its kind of end of life usage and it's, you know, almost picture it like almost post-apocalyptic, abandoned, uh, overgrown with with weeds and, and it just, yeah, like nature has maybe broken some of it or at least weathered it. Um, <laughs> yeah, the opposite of utopia, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Gloomy. Yeah, you can feel free to throw out some more adjectives in chat. Hunger Games, good one. Blade Runner. Yeah. If you wanna you wanna think of some things that are out there and we'll have some of that in the Cyberpunk City. You'll see. Coming. Okay. I have no idea what's in here. Let's do this. Let's dig in. That'd have been funny if I died. Let's dig in. Let's see what we're dealing with in here. We're making we're making rash decisions today, which frightens me. I need torches. Frightens me. Oh, don't look at Joel's stuff. Uh, but there's things that I'm building this season that are flying by the seat of my pants. And there's, there's things this season that are being carefully planned out, thought out, uh, and mocked up in creative. And there's reasons for both. There's, there's reasons for doing both ways. You know, the reason for flying by the seat of my pants, because that's fun. You know, that's, I have a lot of fun just winging it in Minecraft is something it's 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 something that I missed over the past couple seasons cuz I got a little more wrapped up in in having everything planned out and perfect um which some things in the Cyberpunk city still need to be they need to be well planned out you know um if we totally winged the city there's a good chance we would miss the mark um so we're we're at least testing things out in creative to see if, if we're creating the kind of skylines and stuff that we want to create and we're making the buildings, you know, mesh together the way we want them to mesh together. But stuff like this, stuff like this bunker, this this is the this is going to be my my wing it project, you know. I really don't want to do a lot of this part of this season in creative at all. Not playing today's April Fool snapshot. It didn't look super interesting to me. Poisonous potatoes? I didn't really see in there anything in there that it just felt kind of I don't know. I already did a I already did a April Fools thing with the life series, so Although <laughs> I did get someone said, "I can't believe you straight up lied to us." <laughs> Cuz you guys asked me on stream, "Is it a life series thing?" And we were both like, "Nope." Uh we were like, "No, it's not a life series thing." Cuz it wasn't a series. Series means there's more than one, right? Bat Cat, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I think having the escape route being a different theme would look amazing. Yes, yeah, exactly. Like the second you're like in the secret tunnel, I want it to be cyberpunk is out. Like you're now, <laughs> you're in a different world. You know, that would be cool. Check it. Uh, but at the end of the game oh stray, there was a small shot of an amazing bright world covered in plants, general overgrown. I think that would look cool. An underground overgrown bunker that feels homely. Oh, interesting. That's a completely different take on what I was thinking. Where's Jem? Jem, come hang out with me. <laughs> Jem, come hang out with me. I'll get it. I don't have arrows! What the? Okay. Jem, come kill this creeper for me. Please. I need your help. Can bring me an arrow? Why don't I have an arrow? Okay. Yes. My savior. Save me, Jem. Save me.
Hi, Jam. Perfect shot every time. Oh, that was perfect. You see that? <laughs> Katniss Everdeen, everybody. Get away with a mending bow. <laughs> Hi. Hey, you want an arrow? Yes, thank you. I don't know what happened to mine. I obviously put it away the other day. I'm trying to be careful. Joel's doing stuff over there. Joel's Did you see? Is he online? He was. Do you see? Oh, terrain. Yeah, he's doing little terrain stuff. I suppose that's not super spoily. I don't think that's too bad. Spoilery. Spo this is my secret bunker. You like it? <laughs> yeah. I saw that there was secret in your stream pile, and I said, oh, can't have that. Jim got to know. So secret tunnel, line. secret tunnel. Right, 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 right. You know that one, yeah? Probably just from TikTok, though. I only know what it's from because every time I build a tunnel in Minecraft, the comment section is like, secret tunnel. So then I had to look <laughs> it up. Yeah, you looked it up. Okay. <laughs> yep. You know what? Even though I was, like, I had watched Avatar, um, like, multiple times, it didn't click the first time I got comments like that. It didn't click for me. Mm. Like I didn't immediately I've remember that it, scene. So, and so I had to look it up too. And then I was like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> how did I miss that?" Like, <laughs> so obvious. Yeah. You haven't seen it, really. Nope. I think you would like it. I think you. Yeah. The thing it's... about me is I've seen almost nothing. We know this. I watch YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot. How many episodes were there total in the Avatar animated series? I say animated series. I, some people may call it, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anime. I wouldn't call Avatar anime necessarily. Eight seasons. No, three seasons, 61 total episodes. Yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot to get through. It's it sounds it sounds yeah. The last day, not the not the avatar. I blue don't people. like watching stuff that I need to get like. I'm I'm very dumb with the way that I consume media. I don't like to be into it at all. I want I I want to like very passively watch it and not really have to watch it and not really get mm. like. I don't want to I don't want to know any of the characters and I don't want those characters to be in trouble and then I I don't <laughs> want anything to happen really. I just you don't want to get attached to to characters. Then yeah, I just, I it, just like. Make you sad. I watch the same movie over and over and over and over and over. I I won't get into anything new. It just won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry Fair to enough. disappoint audience. Fair enough. <laughs> I think I only really watched it because um, my kids were watching it, and then as I sat there, I was like, "Whoa, okay, there's something to this." And so then mm. I passively watched it the first time and then I decided I'm going to actually sit down and watch it, watch it the second time through. And then I think I've kind of went back to passively watching it the third time through. Just And you just, liked it? You must have, I guess, yeah. three times. Yep. Yeah. 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 And I'm not a big anime person. Not that this is anime. It's anime inspired. But um, I'm not that big on like the anime genre. And this is kind of it's almost like dipping your toe in the water a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> it's good. You want to help me with something? What are you up to today? Uh, I have to edit. Oh, you're busy. Okay, no worries. I can help. Well, I just no. want your opinion on something. I, I'm, I don't I'm gonna, want I'm... to edit. To be clear. <laughs> <laughs> can you uh, fly on top of the building with me and take a look at this? I'll give you my. Which I'll give you my building? my plan. This one right here, just a purple one. Whoop. Okay. So my chat talked me into doing the bunker on the diagonal, which scares me, but also is a fun challenge, right? A what? Sorry, a bunker? The bunker, right, diagonal. Bunker, yeah. So here's the idea, right? Um, without giving too much, you know the lore of the city already because I've already given you the story, but okay. So there's going to be a bunker there. <laughs> um, uh -huh. And I want to make, I do want to make a visual presence of it. I don't want it to be a, a hidden bunker that you can't even tell is there. I do want a, a, a fingerprint, footprint of it's kind of sticking out there maybe like mm -hmm. the you know like you would think like a vault shell type of fallout 4 style or whatever do you think i could do that at a diagonal i mean you did a diagonal skull so <laughs> you know how hard Ooh, it is to do diagonals right? Out four. 
vault shell? I'm gonna Google that. That didn't give me much. Uh, look up Cheyenne Mountain. Is that right? Cheyenne Mountain? Let's see. I might be able to have a note somewhere. Okay. I think, yeah, yeah easy, okay. easy diagonal. I think you can There do you it. go. Okay, so that can be done diagonal. Okay. Yeah, Sweet. Definitely. So I think I'll stick with that. That gives me a little bit. It pushes me more between Joel and Skiz, because this will be uh -huh. technically my base of the season, where the city's You're not gonna my base. You're gonna live in a bunker. I'm gonna live in a bunker, yeah. Um, okay. And that gives me that mountain presence that I'm missing right now, because right now I'm not technically part of the Magic Mountain crew because I don't really have any thing yeah, in it. Yeah, you abandoned right? us for the city. Yeah, I, I plopped the city down in front of the mountain. That everyone wants to build on. So. <laughs> <laughs> I had my reasons. I didn't want to be too far from you guys. <laughs> Trust me. I, I knew this was going to be a bit of a blocker. And I was going to build in the back. And then Scar, Scar took that. Did so. you tell, tell chat my idea for it? For your mountain? Um. Connection? No. What was your idea? Chat, I told him he needs to do a Hollywood sign. But in like. Oh. Cyberpunk impulse SV because he loves putting an eye on stuff. I was gonna try <laughs> to do a little bit less of that this season, be a little self indulgent, you know. Hollywood <laughs> signed that's the perfect opportunity, it's right above the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. I gotta see what Joel's got planned. I, I feel like he's got more coming down this side, uh, like the left of the stairs, potentially. I don't know. Probably a little bit, but still, you got a lot of room between you and Skiz. I know, yeah. That's why I was starting to try to figure out how, like, how do I push over a little bit, and that's why this corner came about. Skiz can probably push towards you a bit too. I think he needs to, yeah. Because he's out of room coming towards me. I think Skiz should come. <laughs> There's no options me. in that direction. If Skiz started to push towards me, and then also sort of incorporated some cyberpunky style into his build, not saying he has to uh -huh. go full cyberpunk, but like, it could be that piece that ties together. Me, Skiz, Tango, Pearl. Well, Joel, me, Skiz, Tango, Pearl into like the punk uh -huh. bit, right? Punky bit. Because Pearl's doing solar punk now. Yeah. I yeah. Her base is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool stuff. So I, we're missing diesel punk. Somebody needs to do diesel punk. Not it. Too late. <laughs> Can you make a new punk style out of your water thing? I mean, just invent a new punk style that nobody's ever. No. Wait. No. Hydro punk. That's a I'm, thing. I'm good where Is I that am. That real thing. Water punk. Fish punk. You don't want to be punk. You look good as a punk. Stop <laughs> punkifying me, punk. <laughs> that word. When you say that word too many times, it gets weird. <laughs> <laughs> punkify it's me. Not punk. even a word anymore. You punk. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It feels like it's not a real word. There you go, Waterworld. You ever? You probably haven't seen that either. The movie Waterworld. That's the old. No, that's old movie. Kevin Costner. You know who that is, though, right? Kevin Costner. Not a clue. Not a single clue. I love being old. You could name almost anyone on the planet, even somebody today, and I would not know who they are. Impulse. It's just mm. how I am. It has nothing to do with our age. Difference. Oh, I mean, come on. Like you don't know, like Adam Sandler. <laughs> you know. Don't tell uh, me. Uh, yeah. I think I can okay. picture him. Okay. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison. Maybe you probably recognize him from the newer stuff that he's done, though. I feel like I know him because people make fun of the way he dresses. Not because I couldn't name a single movie. He's no, in. the way he dresses IRL. Yeah, like the oh, shorts crap. and the baggy T-shirts. That's how I dress. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. New wardrobe time. <laughs> New wardrobe time. I'm going. No, your wardrobe looks great. You look great. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, stitch fix, and then you and I will per per peruse, browse through stitch fix, uh, and you'll help me pick Impulse. out new wardrobe. You have the perfect dad wardrobe. It's totally fine. <laughs> I've like... never seen you in pants though, just shorts. Okay. <laughs> well, it was it was kind of hot in Vegas, so <laughs> it wasn't really pants weather, right? When we're in Vegas, I guess. I guess. Yeah. So, and it's already getting hot here. Like it was like 85 degrees. You don't know what that means. Put that Chat, in. Chat, help me. <laughs> 85 degrees Fahrenheit language, is. Please. You got to convert to Celsius for her, please. <laughs> 
Vegas is not. It's 30, 30 Celsius. 30? Yeah. So at that point, I'm I'm not. I'm not wearing no pants. No, me either. Dude, I'm it's already yeah. like it gets like 10 degrees here in the spring. And it's like warm. I'm like ready to go out in a t-shirt. Like yeah. it's super warm. So 30 is crazy. Yeah. Yep. Ah, I, I'm not ready for summer. It's it gets really nasty here. Yeah, I would die. I really I kind of miss the winter already. I really like the cold. It's still got to be cold there though. Right? Uh what's the temperature today? Let me look. It wasn't super cold. It's 2 degrees Celsius, but it's like not windy. <laughs> I live in like one of the top 5 windiest places on the whole entire planet impulse, okay? It is it's it not is super constantly cold. It's like windy degrees. here, but today it's 2 degrees and not windy, which is a nice treat. It feels much better. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, you would absolutely melt here. Like, you, yeah, when it's 100... And, oh, okay, chat, one more conversion for me, please. 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Go. Let's see what it is. 45, 46, somewhere in there. Yeah. Could you imagine? 46. 46 Celsius? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. That's what it will get to at some point during the summer where I live. Now, granted, it's a dry heat, right? So there's barely any humidity. So when you do sweat, it pretty much I evaporates do. off of you the second it comes out your body. That. that was my favorite thing about Vegas. Dude, my <laughs> hair. Oh, <laughs> as a curly hair haver, it is so nice to not have the humidity. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. We could never <laughs> hear. It's so humid. Yeah, but the heat. Oh, yeah. I was I was getting sweaty in Vegas. I remember that. Uh, okay, I need your help with something. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna make us. A... Diagonal. Well, that that was part one. Part two, okay. if you have if you have time. Um, uh -huh. I want to make an underground secret tunnel. I think from this building, right? So the idea would be come down, come down, don't die. Yeah, we'll just do this. Uh, the idea would be that like this is where you come to evacuate, basically. So I need to. Then this is pretty limited space, right? I need to be able to have like the evacuation route, like maybe I don't know, come through here maybe, and then. Wait, so do you want? Is this specifically for you, or is this for the people of the city? Yes. Let's let's pretend. Let's pretend some catastrophic thing happened in the city, and we we. Please evacuate this. Wait, do I have? Hold on, I can do this. Citizens of so, Cyberpunk City, it is time to evacuate. We are everybody under. Everybody come see your storage. Is that weird? No, I'm just, I'm genuinely asking. I'm just making sure that you've thought about this you know all what? the way. No, I haven't. That's why I have you here. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe this isn't the best place for it. You know? It could be if that's what you want. I'm just asking the questions. Hey, hold on. There's this guy. Anything uh. Good? Oh, gilded blackstone. <laughs> oh, get the magma. Do you have magma? Magma, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm probably about out of emeralds, though. Gilded blackstone. Where would I put gilded blackstone? I don't think I have... Ah! I don't think I have gilded blackstone. You don't have gilded blackstone? I don't know. I don't know where I would... lamp, too. Where would I put it? <gasps> I do. I do. Okay. Okay, hold on. Emeralds, though. Emeralds. Emeralds. Oh, that's not there anymore. I don't have emeralds. Ah! I have a block. I have a block. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing Break it. That. Just steal the block. This is important stuff. Who knows how long he's been there? <laughs> 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 Wouldn't that be sad if we just despawned like right, boop, right now, like right as we came up? Oh no! Look, emerald block was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that though. I know, I know. You want something? I am going to have extra. <gasps> I want the magma. I want the magma. Yeah, you want the magma. Okay. I scrolled right past the magma. Magma's cool. I might do the piston one as well. Where are you? There we go. Do you want a couple gilded blackstones as well? Cool too. Uh, I have seven emeralds left. Target block? I don't have Target one of those pre-made. Cool. I do. I might have to make one of those. Hay bell and redstone dust, yeah? 
There's jukeboxes too if you want those. Music stand. Ooh, jukeboxes. That would be perfect. You know, one season Izuma did like a, a wandering trader farm mm -hmm. so that he could get all the mini blocks. I almost feel like that'd be worth it. Ooh, jukebox is going to be a diamond, isn't it? Diamond and then wood of some sort. No, block jukebox. Okay. I get these. That might be a that might be a thing to do. Mini blocks are like so nice to Alright, where's this guy? I can't see him. Okay. Target blocks. Oh, crying obsidian's pretty cool too. That's true. I'm gonna do crying obsidian. I have four left. Do you want mini birch blocks? I bet you do. Do you I want them? I already have them. <gasps> the redstone lamp. I gotta do that. Okay, I gotta do redstone lamp. I gotta do crying obsidian. I think that's all I really want. Yeah. You want me to get you birch? I'll get you birch. No, I already have. I already have. Okay, okay. Redstone lamp. I gotta make it. Uh oh. Oh no. Damn, I'm out of redstone. You're out of redstone? <laughs> oh no! Oh, I had a target block. Dang it. How does this happen? I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is what we've come to. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so sad. Where's Tango when I need him? <laughs> yeah, go steal from Tango. <laughs> yeah, just go steal from Tango. Uh, I oh no, Tango. I even gotta do this. I gotta do, I gotta break this too. <laughs> oh, did that just disappear? That was right. <laughs> you place it into my feet, I think. <laughs> um, You made me forget what I was making. I didn't need to break that. Lamp, redstone lamp. I didn't need to break that. It's, I needed the full block. Silly I'm, 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 I'm panicking, knowing that he's gonna disappear. I forgot what else <laughs> I wanted. Shoot. Stop panicking. The lamp. You get okay. the lamp. You get the crying obsidian. Oh, I didn't get the crying obsidian. Okay, that's what it was. Good God, pull yourself I know. together. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. <laughs> I don't perform well under pressure. That's why. That's why this uh, life thing that we did that was a, a April Fool's thing. I was like all relaxed and. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, uh, this combination of personality traits doesn't make a lot of sense because you're also extremely competitive. You don't right? perform well under pressure and you're extremely competitive. So therefore you create the pressure. <laughs> I do. It doesn't work <laughs> out for me. It doesn't. It, it causes all sorts of existential crises in, in my life. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I'm going to get this for me then. The, the birch and the mangrove. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right. Um, you should have seen me, though. I was shaking so much after I got in a little tussle. Uh-huh. I think you showed the clip. Oh, I did. I, I shared that. Is he gone? Oh, I thought he was gone. This is fun. I go sleep in your bed. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, jungle as well. Mangrove's good. Okay, we just, that's it. That's all we can afford. Pretty much bought everything anyway. Oh, welcome back. I think you're right, Jim. It, it does feel a little awkward to have the entire city going to my storage room to evacuate, doesn't it? Well, I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm just, I'm asking questions. Well, considering I've given this uh, zero thought, it's good to maybe give it a little bit of thought. Since it's kind I of like a, a thing. If you're going to put time into yeah. it, I would think about it. It's kind of a thing that that requires maybe just a little bit of thinking. Sure. But you have a good point. And plus it was it, I think my main thing was I don't got I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> There's this place is tight. There's nowhere to go in here really. Yeah. Well this place already has a lot of function. It yeah. Can function the something yeah, this else. is for me. So what about this? What about this? What if I did some kind of cool redstone -y thing that like opened this garage? Yeah, you know? there you go. Citizens, please evacuate to and then I gotta I gotta name this place. Yeah. Now you're thinking. B dubs is doing street signs, so I could say, 
132nd Street and 16th Ave, or whatever. I think he's doing both. It's, it's numbers. Cool. Wait, that was two even numbers. No, he had, a, he had a whole system he came up with. Odd numbers, north, south, even numbers, east, west, or something. Is that how your place works, too? It's. I think it's more of a New York style thing. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, my place? <laughs> do you think we Jim, have let more me than ask you this road? question: Where are you? Where are you live? Do you have street signs or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're just like. <laughs> there's. A, Newfoundland is like one long road that just follows the ocean all the way along the island. You don't there's need a street sign like, where it's just one yeah, road. Yeah, that those fancy grid <laughs> things that you guys have. Yeah. Not a thing here. Okay, Not okay. a thing. Our city, our one city that we do have, looks like a toddler <laughs> scribbled on a piece of paper, and then they plop houses around. This, that is, this is the city planner. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti art. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Well, he he has some sort of plan. Uh, that's okay. But I think that answers my question, right? So, because we yeah. got to do a secret tunnel. I promised. I promised my stream. Secret tunnel. So, here we are. Come in here. They come in here. And mm -hmm. then, and then what? I mean, you gotta go underground, right? Are you gonna do an interior in here? Is there gonna be like cars and stuff in the garage? Um, if there's space. With this being like a secret tunnel entrance, I'm not sure if that will leave any. Now, I it well, does have to, I only have until this little curve area back here. So we only have like this much space really. Well, if you put like a van, like what Pearl's been doing, and then in the back of the van you jump <gasps> in, then you jump down. Back of the van entrance. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's what I brought you over for. See, Chet, this is what they keep me around for. I yep. think of other people's ideas. Yep. 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 Back of the van. Get in the back of the van, and then you just like <laughs> fall down. And then you fall down. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I have no idea what's under under this, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, cheaty cam it. You know, Skiz calls it gem cam. Did you know that? I know. You have your own camera in Minecraft now. The camera that I don't have the mod installed for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. The garage door opens. You see the back of the van. You go up in the van, and then just like, bloop, straight down. That would have been funny if that yeah. was like a huge drop right there. So yeah, it'd be about there. Oh. Don't get stuck in there. <laughs> I think I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I just got to cut over to the mountain. All right, I'm gonna carve out. I'm gonna carve this out today. We're just gonna go for it. Look at this, you, stream project. This project is my wing it ad hoc. Maybe give it a little more thought than I had started with. <laughs> yeah, you can wing it and still think about it. Yeah. Okay. That's where I got to find. I you know me. I'm like an all or nothing type of person, you know? You mm -hmm. know that about me. Mm -hmm. And so it's like either it's 100% planned out to the very last detail and creative or I it's literally just I I'm have not even thought about what I'm doing and I'm just doing stuff that is probably stupid. <laughs> so. Yeah. Just being, you know, impulsive, right? Impulsive. Mystery machine van would be sick if I could make it look like that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so weird? Just a Scooby Doo van in a cyberpunk city. <laughs> I like it. You give yourself a little bit more space. What's why is why is it gotta be no space? What's over here? Oh, um, this is gonna be this whole see this kind of circular bit. Oh, this is your dropper. This is the dropper game, yeah. And it cut it cuts all the way in here. And I I think I want to keep that this whole footprint like a perfect circle for the game. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it might I get like a little that. weird. That's going to be fun to Make build. I, I'm also terrified of that build. Because <laughs> it needs to be visually stimulating the entire fall. And that's going to be a right. lot of blocks. Right. Like, you've seen, like, really good dropper games before, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got that's... it, though. What are you talking about a lot yeah, of blocks? Yeah. You're building the city. Yeah, we're gonna have Drop to. Drop her easy. For we're gonna you. Have to petition the hermits to make sure this season is the longest by far of all seasons. Ah, uh, I'm not signing <laughs> that. No. <laughs> season nine too long. Too long. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. 
if it was, if this season, not that we have any idea of how long the season's going to be, chat, so don't get excited, but if if this season did end up being almost as long as season nine, I think I could get this done. Because what happened in season I nine was I- get it done anyway. Yeah, what happened in season nine was I tried to do three massive projects, and this yeah. is just one massive project, so I should be good. Except yeah. we just added the bunker. I, you the bunker, guys but. are making insane progress. We're not oh, yeah, very far help. in yet. Yeah, I have help like from B-Dubs. Two months in. Like you you're gonna be <laughs> fine. You're not gonna you, need like three years. Did you see those six buildings B dubs did? I did. It looks insane. So good. Did you see the seventh building? No. It, it's got a number five on it. Have you seen it? I'm not going to tell her. Looks name. great. He did a good job, didn't he? He did. I built that one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. <laughs> All right, I may have I may have got excited when I when I got done designing it with V Dubs and center screenshots, so I knew I wasn't gonna get that one faster. <laughs> You literally told me your whole. I know. You tell you talk to me too much to be like fooling me. I do. I. I what do we call it, chat? Vomit of the mouth? No, diarrhea of the mouth. It's the weirdest thing to say. Nobody calls it that. Nobody does. That's so. That's what makes me different and unique. <laughs> <laughs> Word vomit. <laughs> that's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Maybe settle for verbal diarrhea, but <laughs> diarrhea of the mouth is just wrong. <laughs> it's just all sorts of wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, I do have problems. Oversharing is, is one of my... Oh, my God. One of my traits. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't call it out. oversharing. You're just talking about your build plans. Yeah, I get excited. I don't know if I've yeah. ever been more excited about my plans for a season that I have for this These one. These are very epic plans. Thank you. I'm terrible at keeping secrets. I mean, you would think I would be a terrible Among Us player. Or what was that game we played? The Clock Tower one with, with Cleo last season? Mm-hmm. Blood in the Clock Tower. You would think I would be terrible at those those kind of games. But I, I feel like I did a pretty good job. Yeah, you can't keep a secret. You can lie to your friends. Yeah. Somehow those are somehow that works. <laughs> How does that work? Can't keep a secret, mm -hmm. but great at lying. Sus. It is weird. It's uh it's a weird mixture. I'm uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm good at telling fake secrets, I guess, as well. <laughs> competitiveness, good that's at, what it is. Good at talking. Driven by competitiveness. Good at talking. Good at good at, at verbal diarrhea. Start digging impulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, doing? go 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 at it. Go at it. We got a busy week ahead of us. Get get your things done. Start digging. <laughs> Are uh, you excited about Saturday? I I've been I've yeah. been hyping up the charity, uh, the charity event for Saturday. I teased mm -hmm. that. Uh, I tease there may be, may or may not be some Phasmo coming. There's an Easter update I haven't got a chance to touch yet, and I'm hoping it's still around on Saturday so I can check it out. Ah. But yeah, that might be fun to, to sprinkle that in on the uh, the charity event, give people a little something different to, to watch other than just all Minecraft. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to start digging. Thank you so much for your help. I think um, you've helped me avoid... Bad decisions, and I appreciate that. I, did, I didn't mean to. I, no, no, no. That's exactly why I called questions. you over here. Yeah, no, that's this is it. Like, a lot of times I get stuck in my own um, head about like decisions, you know. And that was that was one of them. It's like it's been great having Skiz too with like doing redstone, because Skiz not uh -huh. that he knows a lot of redstone, but he'll ask the right questions. It, same thing that happened with you the other day. Oh, yeah, like, did you, you do my idea? Do you need this comparator coming out of this the the skulk sensor? And I was like, I don't know. Because I've I've always been too uh I don't know, too lazy to check 
and so we checked that day and found out that I've been wasting redstone this entire time. <laughs> what was your idea? Okay. Did you do the, remember you were trying to get the lamp to turn on? And you were doing oh. a whole fancy system, and I said, just put a lever. <laughs> no, I haven't done it yet. Uh, well, these ones apparently I, I, are, are fake. They don't do anything. Oh, except... Oh, perfect. That, That's exactly that, my idea. Make that go up, but yeah, pretty much. I panicked for nothing. This dude is literally still here on another night. You always panic for nothing. Yeah, I need to relax. <laughs> Just calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. Even if he disappeared. Even if he disappeared, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Oh. Hey, Jules on. Yeah, go. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just logged in, guys. Oh Hi, Joel. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hi, Joel. I've been trying to avoid spoilers. I'm streaming. Okay, that's fine. No worries. I, I see you doing stuff and things. Yeah, I'm doing stuff and things. Looking good, I can't man. believe you took them down, Joel. I had a personal message from Efo. Look, he called me weird, Jem. He called me weird. It wasn't me who built them. And I'm getting accused of being obsessed took with him when he's someone else built them. <laughs> took what down? Dear what did Joel, I miss? I just saw the statues oh. at your front gate. Well, I think you did a fantastic job capturing my likeness. I do worry that your obsession of me might have gone a little too far. Some people <gasps> might find it, in fact, a little weird. I know you hold me in a high regard, and it might feel wrong getting rid of the statues so <laughs> you respect so much, but I think it would be best for everyone. High regard? I think he's washed. I don't know what he's on about. He's and he signed it. It is actually a book it's by his Ethan. book. Yeah, I don't wow. know. I've, I've moved the statues to his house. There was some statues. <laughs> you, you know that? What did I that miss? Like I never got a video chance to where see him. Like we're not friends. That's what he just did to you. I know what the heck. Like I, it wasn't even me, and I'm getting like we're nice. not friends, Joel. You don't uh, know me. This is parasocial. That's what Ethan just did. It's not fair. <laughs> oh it's my not gosh. fair. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm so sad. He just blowing. Oh. Oh no. I'm not obsessed. He's the one obsessed, and now he. Everyone. He thought that was me. I'm not sure if he built them though. That's the thing. I'm starting to think he built them. What if he did? What? I think he might. It have wasn't built even them you. Called me obsessed. I don't know. Like. I, oh See, no. they, they popped up so quickly. They weren't here. Yes. Maybe they were here yesterday. I don't know. I was. I was. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I missed them. My chat's telling me I saw them, but I feel like I I don't remember. I can show you where they are because they've been rebuilt perfectly. If you want to see, we're at Efo's base. Let's go. I gotta see this. Oh my god! Road trip. <laughs> oh, Joel. Oh. <laughs> I, would, I did not see these. These are outside my base. <laughs> so now they're here. <laughs> God. Uh, it's, uh, if he wants, he's, he said they didn't fit with like, I don't know. It's just, he can have them. I don't but now they're one. here. Yeah. I mean, I was worried about being self-indulgent, Jem, remember? <laughs> but um, this takes this the cake. This guy's obsessed with himself. Yeah, now, now he's obsessed with himself. <laughs> I've left him a note as well in his post box, so hopefully he sees that before. <laughs> this is oh, fantastic. <laughs> I, I, do you reckon he could have built this? I don't know. It seems like too much cuteness for him. Like, they're too chibi. Do you know what? He's, he's mm. been a bit different lately. He's been a bit he cheeky. He has. He, yeah. I, I bet that he could have done this. He hasn't uploaded in, like, what? Oh, two weeks nearly. Surely there's a video. I, I bet Probably. he has because he he does a similar thing at my base where he changes all my signs and tells me I change them. So now he's doing mm. it to you where he builds stuff at your base oh. and then tells you that you're dumb for building that. Wow. <laughs> if that's him, I'm going to be so annoyed. People are saying like it could be, you said, Jen, that it could be Iskal. I also said it could be Iskal, yeah. But I don't know. Like I feel like Iskal's been ill. Has he even been online? Was he online Yeah, I ha I've not seen Iskal. Oh, yeah, no. He hasn't been on a lot. On. Yeah. He has been sick, so... I don't think it was him. I think it, uh, the only person I've seen online a lot was Efo. He was online last night by himself. I don't know. Oh, see? He <laughs> uses all these late night crew opportunities where he's by himself to pull shenanigans that nobody sees coming. Yeah. Yeah. It could yeah. be. It could be. He has been a little more cheeky this season for sure. <laughs> is this Guardian still alive or has it died? Was it just a regular one or? Yeah. It was, he was using oh, yeah, you don't want sense. an elder one around. <laughs> Those are no, terrible. No, no. <laughs> it looks like it's dead. Uh -oh. He has no LA's going either. No, yeah, they're oh, all man. weird. 
Too busy building statues, not taking care Maybe of his pets. Maybe this guy isn't so good at redstone. <laughs> He's washed up, Joel. Is totally washed. Saying. Totally washed. I don't know. I don't know. Etho or uh, B Dub's freaked out about something that he saw inside Etho's house in his last video. Got everybody excited. So something's coming. Oh. Something's coming. I don't know what. Yeah, we'll have to go. I'll look, walk in there right now and spoil it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Me and Joel anyway. can go in. There's not yeah, you could. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. Okay, I'm going to stand outside. outside I'm going to stand outside and just listen to your reactions. Okay. I don't know where it was inside. I'm an empty. Nothing? Nothing exciting wow. about this. Wow, so cool, Etho, what you've yeah, done. Yeah, wow, here. Etho. There's doing nothing. a lot of stuff. Oh, it might be in the basement. Down here. Yeah, go down. Uh, very average. This was probably this is old. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is old. So many blooming shulker boxes. I think B Dubs set us up. Yeah, I think B Dubs is just ether. B Dubs is like, I'm gonna act like there's something super amazing in here to get everybody to to talk about it and come watch your next video. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing. Okay. Disappointing, if anything. Maybe it's these statues. That's why Ethos B Dubs has been hyping up. Maybe they were underground. They were in. Under, yeah, he moved them up. Weird. Uh, oh well. Yeah, total April Fool's joke. Mm. No, totally. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. All right, time to get back at it. I got a secret tunnel to build. Okay, Joel, you know all about secret tunnels, tunnels, right? Anything about secret tunnels? I don't do any for secret. There's no such club or anything. No club around here, is there, Jim? No club, no. Nothing that no. we would talk about. We would anyway. certainly not talk about any sort of clubs. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not bringing it up ever again. Good. <laughs> Good. 728 levels gone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to kill somebody. I do not poke the bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Why is there Among Us on Skiz's base, by the way? Does anyone know? Wait. There was on the wall. What do you mean? Uh, this one's made out of the show. That's just a Oh. <laughs> I see. Buckets of sand. Almost looked like a. Yeah, I see it. Interesting. Who did, did stress do the GG? Yeah, I, I think so. Nice. I like Cute. the salmon as well. I need to add some more. It's fun. Yeah, I like what you did. I mean, both of you did a fantastic job with with your graffiti. Yeah, and... We're the best graffitiers, I think, Joel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wandering trader. Wait, wait. What the heck? <laughs> uh oh. Seen one yet. Man, oh, he's, he's still here. Oh. Anything interesting? There was. Yeah, but it's all gone. It's all the good I'll be willing to give you a few mini blocks of, of what I bought it's if you like. the first one I've seen. Tell me if you want any of get, that stuff that I bought. I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. I'll get, I'm going to get the oak logs quickly. Let me get some of those. All right. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. He's going to despawn right in front of us. He's been here a long time. Get gorgeous is what the GG stands for. Get gorgeous. Yeah, it's totally stresses colors, so I, I I knew it was her. Pets Pest Blaster, happy birthday to you. Uh, hold on, wrong button. I was waiting for it to despawn because it's been here for a few nights. Whoa, your first That's trade ever. Oh my <laughs> first god. <laughs> Gem. What a Sorry. deal! This was an epic moment, Jem. This was an epic moment for him. He got an advancement and everything. And you had to throw Congrats, the oh my god in Joel. there. Thanks, Jem. Stop trying to crit me, Joel. <laughs> Stop trying oh, to no. Oh, crit no. me, Joel. <laughs> Look at this. This, is, this could be you. <laughs> 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 This Should is how he practices. This is how he <laughs> practices. No, 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 no. It's, there's no such thing. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Who wants to do the deed? Oh, no. <laughs> Anyone else trading with this guy? No. All done. No, I'm out of emeralds. Done. He gone. Silence. He gone. What are you doing? Take that moss carpet, you mossy mosser. <laughs> God, burn. Wow. 
God, he, he got me. <laughs> See you on the flip side, nerds. <laughs> He's so lame. Well, we've got a chance to see how he practices his <laughs> PvP, how he practices his insults. <laughs> He's, I love Joel. He's so quick. How does, how does he do that so quickly? <laughs> He's so quick with it. And also lame. Very lame. Very, very lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unapologetically though. I love that's him. what's that's, that's what makes it work. You know, I'm a smallish beans fan. Yeah, big big smallish beans fan. <laughs> what are the smallish beans fans' names? Yeah, do we have names? Beanies. What are the impulse are, are we the fans beanies? names? Oh, we don't have like a special name. Do 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 your peeps have a name? Slayers? No. What, what, what Recently, we? we've been going by Gem Boys. Gem. Etho girls, gem boys. Ah, okay. Oh no. There's unfortunately Smallish. there's an easy way to have a term off of. <laughs> Never mind. No slurs, chat. No slurs. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. I'm seeing stuff getting highlighted by the auto mod. And I'm all, oh, Good no. lord. No. No. <laughs> I don't, Imp Squad? I don't know. Like, I don't, there's nothing good, isn't there? We need something. Impulsatives? Impulse, like positives? I don't know. No, there's nothing good. There's no way to do it. There's no way to do it. You'll think something. All right, I'm going to go edit. Right. That's enough procrastinating. Goodbye. Have fun. Yeah, thank you. You do. Have fun editing. <laughs> All right, should we get some work done? <laughs> Hour and a half into the stream. Okay. I like this idea that we drop hot mic. I like this idea that we drop down. Actually, let's let's catch up. Oh, I totally missed top of the hour. Let's do this. Uh, let's split the the. Let's do a let's do a break. Let's do a quick break. Um, and that way I can raise my desk and refill water and stuff like that. And then we'll catch up on uh, you guys being amazing during all the things that just happened. And then uh, and then we'll get this secret tunnel built for reals for reals. Okay, so let's uh, pop some hermit gang on. And I'll be back in just a second. Listen, Green. Nobody touches my bush. You're done. It all started when Green touched my redstone. He played himself like 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 a xylophone set on automatic. Dark monster is a savage with technical skills and crazy vocal acrobatics. I'm a legend of the NHO with Ezo beef and double O. Dark MC is coming for you sevenfold. Got Ren, Dark and other fireman to douse the flames that you shoot at this Leviathan. Is Kel can try again? You think I'm in hiding? I'm just biding my time. Putting pen to paper, coming up with rhymes yeah. with a star studded together just to crush you once we start something you know we're gonna see it through i'm the nut the soldier who brings the fight at first like y'all had to inside so now i gotta end out you're guilty of getting murdered with words y'all are outgunned go home nerds hermit gang hermit gang hermit gang hermit gang Stop the symmetry that's false. Your team is dialing for help, but I'm ignoring their calls. And when their bodies dissolve, you know that force is on a killing spree. Try to stab my PDP and perish painfully. Uh -huh. I'm the queen of hearts, heads and body parts. She diamond on my tongue competitor. My martial arts, I'll send a poison dart to make you breathe your final breath. G team's name will be the only thing left. Caffeinated, yeah. animated, redstone innovator. My behavior's crazy, can't face me. Impulse is never lazy. Tango, why would you retrain me? Now my scope is aiming better Run from cover from all the gas balls that I be taming Without a sound, without no hesitation My creations are amazing Better watch your step or the G team will end up blazing Who's the better team? There is no controversy But before it's said and done Y'all be begging us for mercy right. Hermit gang, 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 hermit Give it to you, what? Lyrical boxing, dropping blows on all my foes in the G team. They're looking unclean, needing some sunscreen. Uh, our words to hurt this herd of nerds is absurd. How my rhymes got them injured. Danger, danger. I got lasers to cut them up like razors. It's flexing season and I got flavor. No weak defenses like trenches and fences that these dense heads are presenting. 
They're presenting them all right. They're not very good. I could, I could walk over that. I could, I could jump over that. I could use an ender pearl. Could use my elytra. Come on, G team. Jeez. You know, I don't know what to say. Uh, let me, let me see. I wanna say yeah. What's the letter that starts the alphabet? Hey, ladies get in line, the diggity be on the way. Kev, Cleo don't know who she freaking with. Oh, all the signs say to notify her next of kin. This diggity doll been dropping bombs, nothing but hits. Hey. Spit that right again, cause the message is I can mumble rap and still be the best there is. Hermit gang, 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 hermit gang. Want me to do a verse? I'd have to check with G Team. I mean, uh, I'd have to. Uh, I'll have to check with my schedule and see if I can see if I'm able to do that sort of thing. You know, busy guy. Oh, you know. 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 All right, we are back. Thanks for hanging out. I am now standing. Camera's fine. Okay, good. Uh, wow, we got uh, really behind on stuff there as we were hanging out with, with peeps. So KVG89, thank you so much for the 100 bits times two. Appreciate that. No message, but I do appreciate you. Uh, Bat Cat Eva, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, think about having an escape route. Oh, no, we did read that. We did read that. Okay, um, we're getting caught up here. Red Legion, thank you so much. I says, are you ready for the cold thunderstorms? Looks like the whole state's going to get hit. You know what? Yeah, yeah. One more one more bit of cold coming through, I think, is welcome before we get hit with the summer heat. I'll take it. One more chance to wear my Life Series hoodie. I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely. I love wearing my Life Series hoodie. It's so comfy. 3D Entity, thank you for the 100 bits. I uh, got a DNR. Ooh, I will take a look into that. Could be cool. Thank you so much. KVG again with 100 bits. Red Legion, thank you for 145 bits. More bits. Secret Tunnel. Namikaze, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Jokey with a new tier one sub. Welcome to Sub Club. Enjoy your channel, Badger, and your emotes. Uh, yeah, the Life Series hoodies were really well made. Um, you know, obviously they're not for sale anymore, but maybe someday. Maybe someday another Life Series comes about. Who knows? Uh, for those of you that missed out and have to hear us all brag about how comfy these hoodies are. Um, it did take it did take the company some time. They're still working through some issues. Like I literally just got uh, the second hoodie. I ordered a second one in a different design, a smaller size because my first one was too big. Because um, they ran large, I didn't expect that. But uh, anyway, so I bought it. I bought a second one. It literally just came like last week. So it's been taking them a while to get the orders filled for sure. They had a lot, and a lot. You guys went crazy with the Life Series orders, which was awesome. Thank you. Um, it's Ritzy. Thank you for 100 bits. This is me and my girlfriend watch you all the time. And she's not well at the moment. Um, she's not well uh, at the, all the time. She's not well at the moment. You're her favorite hermit, and it would mean so much if she could get a get well soon. Uh, for Kim. Yeah, Kim, get well soon. Sorry, uh, it's 43 minutes ago, but I hope you're still watching. Uh, yeah, Kim, hope you're feeling better. Thank you, It Ritzy, for that. KVG again. Thank you for the 100 bits. Aaron Dyer, thank you for 100 bits. Gem is punch punk. <laughs> yeah, that fits her. That totally fits her. Sam with 100 bits saying, uh, in my sticker pile, there was one state sticker, and that state happened to be Arizona. Ooh, good one. Good one. KVG again, just dropping bits left and right. The Puka was in the chat uh, with 100 bits. Says, when when is the Hermitcraft updating to the potato patch? You guys see the poisonous potato update? April Fool's update they did. I think uh, Jimmy's playing it on stream. Maybe right now, I don't know. Mad Maddie, thanks for the 200 bits. If the bunker was made for evacuating the city, wouldn't wouldn't the tunnel be big enough to drive vehicles into? Maybe entrance through an old subway station or something similar. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I do I do envision having a big tunnel, a big tunnel, but I'm not sure about getting a vehicle into it. I see what you're saying though. I don't know if I'll have space to like make a proper ramp down and stuff. So I think I will just do the fall, but then it will be big. KVG, thanks for the 100 bits again and again. Jeez, just keep dropping them. Holy smokes. Blue Collar Hero, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Still thinking abandoned missile silo would be awesome. You could have multiple levels uh, with farms and other resources for Fallout Shelter. 
yeah, potentially, like I said, I haven't designed the uh, entrance yet, and now that it's at an angle, that may change things. And a silo could help with that. So maybe, yeah. But definitely gonna have a lot of stuff in the mountain. In the mountain. As far as I can go without encroaching on whatever else other people in the mountain are doing. KVG again, and again, and again, and again. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, thank you for all the 100 bits. Chris from the Abyss with 100 bits. Ginger Vitus with 100 bits. Please do Phasmo Truck. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> that would be a nice nod to Phasmo, wouldn't it? Finn the Waffle, thanks for the 100 bits. Love the Infant Skiz podcast. Thank you for all your work there. Thank you for watching. Phasmo Truck's good. I'm writing that down. That's a good one. We're, the the Scooby Doo one was nice and silly, and I and I kind of liked that idea as well. But Phasmo makes more sense, right? It's more related uh, to the content that I make on the tubes of you. All right, what was I doing? I mean, I have the weirdest notes. Oh, I got some good stuff in here actually. Phasmo truck as entrance to bunker. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Can't say that without singing it. Uh, <laughs> what a dumb song that just like went viral. <laughs> Epic, thanks for the 200 bits. Chris from the Abyss again. You could use uh, the dropper as a way into the secret tunnel or do an underground subway system out of the tunnel. Yeah, unfortunately the dropper, not unfortunately, but the dropper is part of something else. So I do have to keep them separate, but that's, that's a pretty cool idea. Morakai, thanks for 100 bits. Enza Win Night. Enza Win Night? We Night? I'm not sure. Love your content. Glad I could catch the stream. I'm glad you're here as well. Epic with another 200 bits. Could have Bunker as pre dystopianized cyberpunk bunker that's been worn down by the elements. I'm like, I'm tempted to just ditch the cyberpunk completely just to have something different to build when I inevitably get punked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, there may be a way to do that and still have a little bit of tie, but not, you know what I mean? So I can still have my my getaway in style. Kyberg, thanks for 300 bits. Dragon Fay, thanks for 100 bits. You guys are amazing. Garage door could lead to an underground parking area with the tunnel access. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, we don't have a ton of space in here because we can only really go to, I mean, literally this is, yeah, this is uh, if we went straight across, which we don't have to do. But yeah, this is the back wall. So we don't have a lot of space. For, in fact, the, the truck, it might be more of a facade, like just the back of the truck. Because we don't have a lot of space in here. And the garage is what? Jeez! Tosca Koshka, jeez! 30 gift sub bomb! It might just be completely backed up to this. I will have to have a little bit of redstone, right? To pull the door away. I'm hoping I can just do that, like... What would it be? Like honey block, slime block, and then pull it down underground, maybe? That's really all I can do. Maybe up. Maybe there's room to go up with it. Nah, down would be easier, because then I can keep it flush. I don't have to pull the blocks back and then move up. Although, if I just move these back now, would that be that big of a deal? Let me see if this looks weird. Getting the chopper. <laughs> No, I don't think we want to. Uh, we decide. We talked about doing above ground or underground or level with the ground entrance to the bunker, and we we landed on doing the underground one. Which I, do, I do think makes a lot of sense because you want it to be secretive. If it was above ground, it wouldn't be that secretive, would it? Modern day sewer with dead ends. Ivory Crow with a birthday in the house. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a good one. Does this look weird if we pull this back? No. I think we can get away with this as long as we give it a border, right? What do you think? If we give it, I think right now it's hard to tell because you're seeing through here. The reason for pulling it back, yeah, we maybe pull these lights back and then border across the top with, what is this, red terracotta, yeah? 
I have the hardest time finding. It just says terracotta. Where does it actually say? Oh, yeah, there's block ID, red terracotta. Switched my F3 to better F3. Given the right borders and stuff, maybe that works. The only reason to really do this is to help with the redstone part portion of it later so that I can actually like... That would be kind of cool, right? Have this thing actually animate and go up. All right, let's get some blocks and let's just cover it up. Because it would be IRL, right? They would be pulled back a little bit. Because it's got to go up. That's the only way that would work. So if we want to be like realistic about it. And then we can do slime blocks, yeah, to, to lift it. I'm not going to do that, obviously, on stream. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done, like, slime block machines, I guess you would call it. All right, so black could potentially work. I was going to grab red. I don't have a lot of red. Um, we'll have to make black concrete, I suppose. I'll just... Ooh, I'm actually running pretty low on... Ink. <laughs> By pretty low, I mean we're gonna go harvest some ink right now. <laughs> Just do redstone on camera. What could go wrong? Yeah. We got 100 bits coming in from Sofa Moreto. Thank you so much. I meant dipple doppers, <laughs> not droppers. Dipple droppers. We can make. Oh my gosh. No, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Should we name our dropper game? Dipple drop. <laughs> Dipple drop. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Done. I wrote it down. It's on my notepad. It's happening. <laughs> the dipple drop. Oh, man. Skiz got to be coming in here and giving me all these nicknames. Oh, jeez. Why is this skeleton? In what are you doing in the... Oh. Oh. It's funny. In uh, Minecraft VR, you can swim by pressing down the button on the joystick. Or you can actually, like, do this. And I refuse to tell anybody about the joystick part so that <laughs> everyone else was like physically swimming. <laughs> uh, I didn't want them to know. I have to watch through some of their videos and see if they're how many how many of them are on camera doing a like a breaststroke. That's hilarious. I tried punching would physically instead of just pressing the button and that lasted maybe 10 seconds before I was over it. Couldn't watch. Yeah, it was, well, I, I totally get, yeah, VR is, uh, if, if you're prone to motion sickness, that those, that video is definitely not going to be for you. I, it was hard. It was hard to make, to be honest. And I don't even, I don't even get motion sickness very easily. And I was even a bit queasy doing that. So yeah, totally get it. If uh, people can't watch it or, or they're struggling to watch it, makes sense. Not, not something I would do more than just a one-off on. That's for sure. There's no Minecraft and VR series coming to my YouTube channel anytime soon. It was fun to check it out. Definitely different, different way of playing Minecraft. I love exploring things like that, but not for me. Just wasn't for me. Yeah, Joel, Joel actually suffers from motion sickness quite easily. And, you know, I wouldn't have been surprised if he actually had a trash can near him the entire time, just in case he did vomit. <laughs> did everyone already have VR headsets. No, a lot of us, uh, like I, I had a, uh, meta quest two or whatever and ended up getting a three. Well, mainly cause my daughter took my last headset. She, she it became hers. 
she was, I wasn't really playing it and it was sitting there collecting dust. And so once she started playing it, I was like, well, at least it's getting use. So, but I ended up buying a, a three, just not just for this video. Cause we do want to do, we do want to do Phasmo if it works on VR. Okay. I could see gigs doing a little Phasmo session. As long as that one's also not nauseating to watch. I think something about Minecraft makes it more nauseating to watch than something like Phasmo might. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh yeah, they have conduit. I keep going up for air. I love their conduit. VR was definitely not Scar safe. No, Scar had a moment that uh, was a little, a little worrying for sure. It was such a crazy thing too. Like shows us and we're laughing, ha ha, that's funny. And then it continues going on and we're like, uh, are, are you okay? <laughs> and so then it got like, this isn't quite as funny anymore. We're a little worried about you. And then it got funny again, cause he was okay. <laughs> Holy cow, what the heck? What is going on today? What is happening today? Ginger Vodges, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Dig dig down as a ramp from garage entrance and go under the ground. Yeah, the ramp thing, I just don't know if there's room. I get the ramp thing. It, it, it kind of ruins the truck. Oh, it's the first of the month. Does that make a difference? Wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Get up, get up. <laughs> I love Bone Thugs and Harmony. They were great. Um, Jeez. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. I don't know if there's going to be a good way to do it. For now, I'm just going to dig a tunnel that goes straight down, and, and then we may change it later. OMG, a waffle. What the heck? 10,000 bits? What? 10,000 bits? Jeez. You're amazing. Thank you. Pinch Skiz next time you see him. I, I will. Skiz was a little sick, though. We went for a walk the other day, and uh, he was just getting over being sick, and I was like, uh... I don't know how close to you I want to get. <laughs> don't you dare get me sick. But yeah, next time. Well, actually, oh gosh, we recorded a podcast together. He was sitting on the couch next to me the other day. So let's let's hope I don't get sick anytime soon from that. If I get sick, then it's definitely blame skiz. 100% blame skiz. Bone thugs are from Cleveland. I didn't know that. They were great. I loved, I loved Bone Thugs. But yeah, that is an insanely generous uh, OMG a waffle. Thank you so much. I totally forgot this Skiz and I. What a, man, must have been a really busy weekend. Because, uh, yeah, Skiz and I recorded a podcast. Shoot. I need to, okay, hold on. I'm trying to do this to where it doesn't, aha, perfect. We learned this last time, so I don't have to tell people like to worry about flashing lights and stuff. Yeah, that's that's really generous, OMG Waffle. Thank you so much. Viv Zava, thanks for 100 bits. Happy to catch a stream. Love the podcast so much. Thank you. The next podcast, we have a guest. We have a guest on the next podcast. I told him it was cool because he asked, our guest asked if it was cool if, if he uh, announced it. And I told him that'd be absolutely fine. But none of you are chiming in with his name. So he must not have said anything. Hmm. He must not have said anything. Should I just tell you? Should I just tell you who it's going to be? Might as well. Might as well. Usually we wait till Tuesday, but I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow. Okay. I tell you then. I tell you who it's gonna be. Let me give you a hint. I have recently designated this person as the best hugger on the planet. Go. Who's got it? Ah, you guys know. It's Scott. Scott's major. Yep. <laughs> That's right. 
Yeah, we had a lovely sit down with Scott on the uh, podcast. We recorded it on Saturday, so it'll be coming out on Friday. You guys will get a chance to uh, get to know Scott a little bit better. Good stuff. Scott's an amazing, amazing dude. And very, very good hugger. <laughs> I think Skiz was a little jealous when uh, he found out Scott was a better hugger than him. Does black work? I feel like the top maybe shouldn't be black. What if we just do another row of tough stairs right here? I know they don't necessarily need to be stairs, but that would make sense if there was one more tough stair there. I think it kind of works. I mean, we could do the lights. Hmm. Yeah, let's do tough because it would roll up, right? Like a, a normal door would roll up. So there'd be more. There would be more to it. But yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, it, it, we had a great time. Scott was fantastic on the show, uh, as you would as you would probably expect. I mean, he's amazing. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Actually, looking forward to uh, you guys getting a chance to see that one. Somebody was like, "So obviously, there's two parts then, because you know, Scott has uh, the gift of gab." Is I may have said in the actual podcast. Scott, Scott's major. Um, he was he was part of the live series with me. Uh, he runs MCC or was the founder of MCC. He's in Empires currently in Minecraft SOS series that's running. Yeah. Oh, this could be hard. Oh no, we won't lift. We won't lift this. We'll just lift the door. Yeah. No, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be great. Okay. Happy about that. Yeah, MCC is just in between seasons right now. They're just getting ready for a new season. They like to um, they like to change things up in between seasons. So sometimes it takes them a while to get like new games and stuff. Hopefully, there's some new there's some new elements to it. Definitely not. Maybe just maybe uh, might be overkill. Let me get some mangrove doors. You want less PvP in, in uh, MCC? I would go for that. I'm not great at PvP, so... Yeah, please. Uh, that'd be fine. Ah, uh, do I have... Hold on. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is where I really should have looked for stuff. Four of them. You guys are uh, showing off my junk drawer. Not proud of it, but... That build was insane. That build was insane. I had so much. My shopping list, if you will, for the the building that's over there, that one, was like a mile long. <laughs> it was like a mile long. Would I consider joining uh, Block Wars? No, probably not. I am, I am not going to be super competitive Minecraft uh, player like ever. I really have fun with MCC. I I got to the point to where I feel like I'm good at, not, I mean, I want to get better. I always want to get better. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm never going to get to a level to where I'm like competing to be one of the better, you know, competitive Minecraft players. So you probably won't see me in a lot of events like Block Wars or any other kind of like Twitch rival or, uh, rivals type stuff or anything like that. It's just not really, like, I have fun with MCC, but it's not really something that's going to be my thing in Minecraft. I can't decide. Maybe not those ones, but I do think this needs covered. The only reason I'm having a problem with these ones right here is because I've already got this going here. And that feels like it's too much. Am I am I off base? Something something needs to cover these lights though. Partially. Is there something else we can pull in? These work. I'm just gonna take I'm trying to take a look because one of the things I was trying to do with this build was bring connection to Joel's. 
If you guys can see that, hello. I, I did I did want to do free cam, but you kind of see you kind of see how I started to bring in some of the colors in. I brought in the pink glass. Like this was this was thought out by me, <laughs> by the way. Like I was trying to bring in the red, trying to bring in the pink so that you could see this shot right here and connect a little bit to Joel's area. I'm seeing some cherry. So you're talking about those? And that does get that right there. That gives you a little bit of that flavor. That might work. Iron. I'll grab both. We'll we'll try it. If we did copper, which copper are you talking about? Orange or green? Or somewhere in the middle. Definitely not. I'll, I'll grab both. We'll see. Second stage copper, somewhere in between. You guys, I can't afford it. <laughs> I can't afford that. Uh, the copper trapdoors are stupid. They better fix them. They better fix it. We should, we should as hermits fix the recipe ourselves. I just, I feel like it was a typo and we're just dealing with it. You know what I mean? It's got, it had to have been a typo. Because ingots make iron trapdoors. Why would blocks be required to make copper trapdoors? It doesn't make any sense. You're talking about this one, waxed exposed. What's been my favorite life season? Um, I think, gosh, probably my first one. <laughs> uh, oh, so the team ties was a fun season. I had, a f I had fun with that one. I really had a fun time. It was third life, wasn't it? When I was like, um, I was basically playing the little finger type character where I was secretly in alliance with everybody and really just like, spreading all the gossip and secrets of each single click to other ones and then eventually i got i got caught you know just like little finger in game of thrones if you've seen that one um that was a fun season that was third life wasn't it I'm pretty sure i think in the i think the reason why i like that one the most is because i had a strong character that i developed and i and actually like i played a role and since then i haven't really developed a character in the life series I'll just a few to choose from in here yeah it had the b-dubs clock thing going yeah okay so here's the more green and here's the more orange I'm not sure which one you guys were leaning towards there I guess I don't have cherry there's one I'll just make some more Top of the hour. Uh, I sat up, I, or I stood up late, so I, I'll, I'm gonna uh, maybe give it another 10 minutes or so, and then I'll sit back down. Cherry wood. Let's get a couple of these made. Oh, oh, I actually need that. I need that, that one extra. It's five wide, isn't it? Secret life was too chaotic. Yeah, that uh, I struggled with secret life because I. I couldn't really get any sort of my own storyline going because uh, the secret the secret tasks would basically dominate whatever I was doing. Ooh. I might be sold. I might be sold on that. That ties everything together. I, I might be done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not overthink it. That's done. That's done. That does exactly what we want it to do, right? Because if you take a look, this is what you get. You get that red, you get that pink. Bang. You get that red, you get that pink. You get that tough. You get that tough. Perfect. Done. We, we, we don't need to overthink that one. Double life was fun because of how quickly you and B-dubs went all in. Yes. Ah, double life was nice. Double life was really, really nice. Um, I, I really liked that... Things were so just organic with that one. 
You know, like day one, you didn't know who you were going to end up with. And of course, you know, you guys know me. I'm a, I'm a bit of a B-dubs fan. Okay. I know that's no secret, but uh, when I found out I was with B-dubs, obviously I was ecstatic about, about it. And him and I just, I think we just get along so well. You know, we're, we're, we're similar in age. We're, I think we're similar in, you know, family life. We're similar with our upbringings and, and things like that. And so there's like a lot that, that we just vibe together with. Obviously, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's the shorter one, but. <laughs> Definitely the more funny one. He's he's hilarious. He cracks me up. But yeah, that gave us a chance to be the home wreckers and stuff. And so we got a lot of we got a, some good stuff out of that bit. That was that was a fun series. Burn. Yeah. Right. Cherry. I struggle with this. Okay, I'm gonna put these away. Where they go? For once. Copper, iron. We'll put away a couple things. Alright. And then we'll sit down and then dig the tunnel. Bang, bang. Mess. Gonna finish my video today. Definitely. Definitely gonna finish my video today. Can't wait. The aha moment was best for you. Uh, aha was... That was the second season. Hang on, I'm struggling. Third life, then last life. Thank you. So that was last life. Okay. Third life, last life, double life, limited life, secret life, real life. <laughs> totally canon. Totally canon season, right? Real life sounds sad, though. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, you've been so amazing today. I cannot keep up with you. Every time I look over, I'm like, so many things behind. Re Braven, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Morakai, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Why not make a fallout shelter from pre-war days? Would need, to, would need to be secret then. I'll take a look at it. Yeah, I'm still getting some inspiration for this, this shelter. This uh, bunker. So, I've been I've been poking around a lot. I'm I'm not there yet. I haven't made decisions, but at least we can make a tunnel. <laughs> Doesn't hurt anything. Sofa Moreto, thank you for the hundred bits. Impulse fans are called Dipple Soppers. <laughs> oh no, that's the one where you corrected and said Doppers, Dipple Doppers. Yeah, okay, that's what you meant. I saw your chat, but I didn't see that, so it didn't strike. JV Higgin, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Sofa Moreto, thank you. There's, yeah, there it is. I meant Dibble Duffers. There it is. Thank you for 100 bits. Janice Stream, six for 100 bits. Thank you guys for all the subs. Resubs, you're amazing. Taken winner. Thank you for the prime sub. KVG again, 100 bits. A Storm, 100 bits. Pendle with the raid. Welcome, Raiders. KVG, just 100 bits, 100 bits, 100 bits. Going to town today. Namikaze, thank you so much. The aha moment. Yeah, it was super fun. Okay, let's see. Okay. Question, chat. Now I'm, I'm looking to you guys. I need your help. Cheaty cam. Oh my goodness. You can see we're basically at a not quite 45 degree angle, right? We got to come from, from this spot to there. I mean, definitely not 45 degree angle. 45 would be like that-ish. Do we want to go straight and then straight? It would definitely help with the design of the tunnel. I'm like having the same exact conversation as I did before. Or do we want to, yeah, what did I say before? Yeah, it's like 30 degrees maybe. Straight and then maybe a turn, not a 90 degree turn. What if we go mostly straight? I want to go away from Joel. So we'll go, we'll go straight this way, but then kind of like as we get to about the edge of this building, turn. So curve this bit. So basically anything beyond this wall to here is like a turn, not a 90 degree. So that it has, so that will be fun, right? 
and then we go up into I don't want to go in the I don't want to go in the mountain I don't want to I kind of want to discover this on my own okay now the other question is how far down should we go if we go and we look I mean if I dropped us down to like our farm level I might actually use this for more than bunker access right uh, let's go outside here Dropping down where we're dropping down, we're basically... We could drop down to this level here and give my give myself some access. I wouldn't be surprised if when we dig down... I'm really trying not to do cheaty cam. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we dug down and ended up in this space. So we are at 36. We're going to dig down to 36 and see what happens. I'm going to fall into that lava right there. That'd be funny. No, no, that doesn't fit. Okay. Straight 45, straight then 45, and then kind of straight again. I kind of want to see if I can work in a curve. That could be cool. 36, was it? That we got to dig down to? It was 36. Oops. That hides the... Okay. So we're at 63. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And it's quite a ways down. Secret tunnel. I need to sit down. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Let's give at least one torch here. And I fall into my farm in three, two, one. No. Hmm. I'm actually really surprised. I kind of want to dig that way and see. Let's let's dig the way we're supposed to. Thirty-six. But well, last year, last year we had thirty-seven. Here it is. Sweet. Where does that go? What's that gonna do? This, this would say. Oh, were we? Somebody was harvesting some copper there. Oh, I feel like we should. Let's do it. B Dub said he uh he cleaned me out. <laughs> it's like sorry about your copper, man. I might have used it all on the on the uh what did he he did the gates, the trap the trap doors, right? B dubs did the trap doors on the uh bridges. The bridges, the way he connected the buildings together uh vertically off of street level was something that him and I had been talking about for a while that we wanted to do and he made it happen with the buildings he built I'll probably do the same with some of the buildings that I'm doing wait I'm lost where, where were we oh here okay I'm just gonna cover that up there was nothing down there but yeah pretty cool so we'll be able to traverse buildings at different heights throughout the city and there might be even some fun parkour. You guys being in on the streams, you are going to get so much more information. I got to go find out the uh, coordinate of how far we're, we're, we're digging. You're going to get so much more information about the city than the YouTube viewers. At least you're going to get this information early. Like way early. So... I've talked about some of the games. Exclusive previews. That's what you're here for, right? Uh, you guys make it live. You get to hang out. You get to have feedback. You get to have input in the things that we're doing. And I'm going to rely on you guys heavily <laughs> to make sure everything turns out as cool as it is in my head um, here in the game. But the idea is that there's multiple games going on throughout the city. You've heard me mention that before. I, I think if you were here early... Early streams in the season, I had already talked about, like, this half of the building being a giant escape room. So now you've got this kind of, like, puzzle game going, right? And then we start talking about this one being the dropper. Now you got this dropper game going. I just mentioned there's going to be some parkour. Um, there's going to be some PvE. Player versus environment. Environment being like mobs and stuff. Maybe maybe think about 
some something sort of Raven, Ravager Run esque, desk decked out esque, uh, happening to where movement and fighting mobs is a part of it. Basically, the idea is the city will challenge the city will challenge a Minecraft player in every like genre of Minecraft is the idea. So kind of like MCC does. MCC challenges players in movement skills, in PvP, in, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, parkour. So that will all happen as part of one gigantic game. So in order to be successful at this game, you're going to have to be somewhat good at all the different aspects of Minecraft. That's That's the challenge ahead of us, is making that actually happen that way we're gonna call it negative 590 negative 590 we start to, to make the turn <laughs> gems the final boss <laughs> no we need to make this we need to make it so that the hermits stand a chance of 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 uh winning <laughs> uh, the only one <laughs> the only one on the entire server that can win the game then is joel is that what <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Crushed it. I think I... What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I was supposed to hold shift. I did. I just missed it. Crushed it. <laughs> Great. If it was water bugging, I would have nailed it. I'm not used to the... Scaffolding one. Crush my legs is more like to yeah. <clears throat> 590. Oh wow, this is a nice long tunnel. Okay. So we're gonna have to really open this up. I might want to bring a beacon in. I wonder if I can get a beacon fairly close. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. I'm gonna dig that out. I don't think it's an actual copper vein, but I don't need it. Has the iron farm been working? You know what? I haven't checked on it. I haven't checked on it. I have to ask Tango. He's been... I'm sure Tango's been logged in. Okay, so here we are. So here's where we would say we're going to, like, curve this guy. I'm going to go diagonal for... Well, let's see. A curve would go a bit long. Right? And then start to slowly, kind of like a, it'd just be like a circle, right? The way a circle works. So we go like, you know, three, two, one. And then maybe two. I don't know. <laughs> We're winging it. Winging it is fun, right? Maybe that's too steep of a curve anyway. Like that isn't really that much of a curve, is it? We could extend all this out a little further. Maybe go like five, three, two, one, two, three, five. Let's do that. Five, three. I'm hoping just like a, a regular circle thing would work. I need a beacon. It's taking, this is gonna take too long. Two, one, two. One, two, three, this, and then five. Oop! <laughs> Whoopsies! <laughs> Mr. Firework Man can't control his own fireworks! <laughs> Unless he got hot guide. Oh, he might have got hot guide! Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. <laughs> I see what he did there. Uh, three, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll straighten out after that. So basically, yeah, this will become, and then we got to decide how big we want to make it. Now the question is, do we actually make it in the mountain if we go straight? So we're at negative 606, and then we got to work our way to something. So let's go see what negative 606 is. 
Yeah, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. All right, obviously it's gonna be, we gotta make it way bigger. Way bigger tunnel. I'm thinking like, 11 by 13 by 13. And I'm also thinking kind of circular, like a, like a sewer system. Might be cool. Hi guys, how you doing? I'm gonna sit down. Secret tunnel. Low ceiling could make it feel like an emergency tunnel. I get that, but yeah, I think I want a lot of space. Almost like a whole town is coming through at once type thing. I sit down. Wall Street. Katie Twinkle, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Dystopian stories often go forward into space or back to nature and Earth. Maybe the tunnel could go back to a spaceship launch silo. Ooh. I see what you're saying. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Lair. <laughs> That's, I mean, when I guess I envision the, uh, yeah, the sewer tunnel kind of being a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle-esque. Oh, shoot. Does anybody remember that? Was it... Negative five. Ah! What was it? Negative. What was it? 606? Oh man, we barely made it to here. Okay. Okay, we made it to here. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Because we can come up into. into here. I gotta get a beacon. Uh, if I put a beacon in... Somewhere I have a beacon hole, don't I? Uh, yes, I'm gonna go get a beacon. I get beacon, I get beacon. We need it. Oh man, I'm just giving you all the exclusive previews, aren't I? No, I'm gonna go buy a beacon. I need to go buy a beacon. Let's go shopping. Road trip. I need to get some money. How much are beacons? Shoot. Okay, everybody look away. Wait, two blocks. Some people are saying 25, some people are saying two blocks. Okay. If it's two blocks, then we're good. <laughs> what is Cub doing? 25 is for the elytra. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put away some of this. Yeah, Zuma did say that uh, last time I talked to him that people are changing their prices to be more in blocks. We'll go find out if we're wrong, we're coming back. Cubs Zoo and Science gotta be right. It's been a little while since we took Taylor's, Tyler Swift for a ride. I didn't say Taylor. Um, if I ride down, I buy the building, are you guys? I'm gonna keep my head kind of down. Ooh, we could bop this. Yeah, we could bop this. Hold on. It's a great idea. Here we go. We're going on a journey. Ooh, way to go. Good job. All right, are you gonna bop it up? I can bop if you want it. Let's go. You can bop if you want to. If you leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can bop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 You can bop, 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 You can bop, 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 Wait. My guy. You can bop if you want to. Gotta answer this quick. You leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. 
pick them up if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 You can mop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. All right. You can't just get me started. I think I, I like a little push car, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> I actually like that rendition. That was great. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Whew. I never know what's what's exclusive previews around here. How, what's the best way to get to? Is there a is there a horse crossing? There's something going on over there. I'm pretty sure is exclusive previewy. Hmm. There's no horse crossing. We got to leave our horse somewhere. All right. Anywhere to anywhere to put Tyler. Anywhere to put Tyler. Little horse hole somewhere. I didn't bring a I didn't bring a lead. B Dubs has a spot. Perfect. Uh, oh, <laughs> it ejected me where I wanted to go. All righty, let's see. Hopefully, you guys are right. Brought to you by GigaCorp. Yes, two diamond blocks. Perfect. Awesome. Is there. Does it matter? Is he just like keeping this perfectly? That one's not. All right, I'll just buy from the front. Doesn't matter. Bring it home, the beacon. Need stables like an SOS. I like the um the carpet berry bush idea. That's way better than the holes we've been making. <laughs> Had we known about that straight away, I think we would have just done that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, that's for raw quartz too. Does that mean? Ooh. I gotta remember to check my profits. <laughs> I didn't think quartz was gonna make me any diamonds. This is insane. Okay, hold on. To finish out my video today, I'm going to. Um, well, first I have to do a show and tell on the on the. Uh, you guys know what it's for. The building I made. You guys know what that building I made is? The building with the five on it that I haven't been showing you. Do you know what it is? Ooh. You have no idea what it is. No, not the tall, not the tall one. The one I haven't shown in video yet that I've been that I've been I've been giving you peeks at today. I've not told you what it is. Okay. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys get it. Yeah, I'm gonna let you get this one. Okay. All right. Give me a second to make this note, or else I'll forget. Smelterator. I gotta show the smelterator, and then shop profits. Profits, and then that'll be enough for us to end the video, which I can totally finish up this afternoon. I gotta do some editing. Okay. Here it goes, guys. Time to use your brainiums. I know. It's Monday. You're just here to. You're just here to. Hang out, be be mindless, not have to think at all. Which feature did B Dubs add to the builds he did after the buildings were built? That was absolutely brilliant and cool. What was the feature? What was the the detailing 
that he added. Aha! Power lines, you say. Very good. We're on to something. The, the billboard's also there. But power lines, what I was going for. Aha! Uh -huh. So. Where does the power come from? Hmm? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you can see. Oops, I just showed you the back. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe a generator building of sorts. Yeah. Little substation, little power substation of sorts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what that building's gonna be. It's the generator. It's the generator building for the city. We tucked it in the slums. <laughs> Let all the... Never mind, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, any kind of, like, nuclear fallout from the, the generator building. No, I don't know if it's nuclear powered. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really put that much thought into the lore behind the generator building, but... Yeah. Hey, at least they got power. Yeah. No, but we saved most of the power for the the buildings over here. Fix the door. Okay, okay, there you go. I opened it up. Gem was here. I knew we would be in and out. No, not doing solar power. Well, is there? No. No, the solar stuff, I don't want to do I don't want to do too much of that cuz that's going to uh, start to peek into um what Pearl's doing, right? With solar punk. Cyberpunk, we don't care about the environment. <laughs> Where the heck is that hole? Oh man. Wasn't there a hole over here? I'm confused. Where is it? Where's the hole? We just we were just over here looking down it. I'm lost. Is it straight back that way? I think it's right here in this corner. Get out of here. I don't want you. Here we go. Is there water? <laughs> Soylent green. <laughs> Powered by Soylent green. Oh my gosh. I want to have so many beacons that we just have beacons everywhere and I never have to move them or anything. I think I can fly out of here. Can't fly out of water. Can't fly out, right? Yeah, I guess you can. Ugh. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yes! Flawless. Jam would love that. Yeah, more, more beacons. Beacons everywhere. That's why she moved uh, as far away from me as she possibly could. <laughs> uh, she hates the beacons. She hates the beacons. Never doubted me for a minute, thanks. All right, we were going to go up in here. Okay, 606, right? Yeah. Okay, I think... There's some of this out. Oh, that's so much better. So much better. Let's give ourselves a little headroom, too. Like some space-age battery. Nuclear power plant sounds like dystopian power source. Yes, I know nuclear energy is safe. Yeah. Um. So there's, there's some... I have to be a little careful with how I choose this building to generate power because it will impact some of the lore that's coming. Did I tell you guys there's going to be lore? And I don't mean like cringy lore, like I'm not going to start acting like some weird character. You know. It's it's more of just like there's a backstory 
to the city and what's happening in it and why these games exist. I think I'm finally, I think I'm finally like understanding what's acceptable lore and what's, what's cringe lore. You know what I mean? And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, this lore, the story of the city will tie everything together. I, I don't, I don't hope it will. I know it will. I know it will. When you guys hear the story of the city, it, it will tie everything together. Pork chop power should be the power source of the city. <laughs> I love that. Uh, let me catch up on here. Sub to Mumbo. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. Hope you had a fun Easter. Real life was so much fun to watch. Taking a break from watching videos to relax with the stream and rest my brain from the total chaos. I'm surprised you made it through the VR videos. Like, those were uh, making some people nauseous, apparently. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. Thank you. KVG, thanks to, again, another 100 bids. My goodness. Lewis Scoops, it's your 18th birthday today. Well, happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. 18. An adult now. Now you got to do adulting stuff. <laughs> Batcat even think is getting 100 bits. Random thought you could use end crystals to, uh, for the power source. Ooh. Ooh. You got my attention. Could build a little thing around it that maybe has some like end rods and some other sort of particles of some sort. Uh huh. Adulting sucks. Yes, true. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's a great idea, Batcat. Futuristic could implement that either the power was too much or they started to explode parts of the city, hence needing to run. Don't get ahead of yourself or me. <laughs> oh, the story has already been written. And you will hear about it soon. By soon, it may be a couple months. Sam, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Hi, Sam. <laughs> How you doing? Forgot to say hi. You just jumped right into your sticker collection. It's all good. <laughs> well, Andrew, thanks for 100 bits. What about a creeper farm as a power plant? Falling creepers in a glass tube. Oh, if they were like charged creepers, that would be cool. Um, very hard to implement in that space, but that uh, could be kind of cool. All right. If we're coming in at an angle here, does it... I mean, I want to keep the... I don't want to open it up too much right now. But like this could... This could open up along the edge as well. I got to be careful. I don't want to bust open the mountain, but let's imagine you come in here and the space kind of like V's open. That could be kind of cool. If I, hear, if I see dirt, I'm going to back off a little bit. I'm actually, this is crazy. What do we need permits for? Oh, no. What did Green say? Is Green in here? Are people freaking out? Oh, you joined. You joined. Okay. <laughs> when you guys start yelling, like, a name of, like, in chat, I immediately think they've, like, said something in my Twitch chat. But it's just them logging in in-game. <laughs> you love Green. Of course. Who doesn't? Green's a prankster with tricks up his sleeve. That line was so... So hard for me to get right. Green's a prankster with tricks of his sleeve. See, try saying that in a rap that fast. Green's a prankster with tricks. Ugh. I reshot re that line probably 50 times before I got it right. Green's a prankster with tricks up his sleeve. That is so hard to say. I don't know why I didn't just rewrite that line. Because I'll never be able to perform that song live. You guys know what I'm talking about? Hermitcraft fam, we'd be holding it down. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You come in and it kind of opens up. 506, 605? What was it? Shoot. 605, right? If I come down right here. 606. 
Okay. I'll dig these two down. And then we were at negative 36. All right, let's connect up. Ooh, you know what? Eventually, holy cow, we're way up here. We'll have to bubble Vader this for now. It's so dark. I don't know what I'm getting into. Just waiting to fall in one of these crazy caves that we have in this mountain. Perfect. Okay. So this should connect then, yeah? We did this right. Perfect. We'll just cover that up. That doesn't exist. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Honey elevator. We could do a honey elevator. That'd be fun. Oh, no! No! Really? 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. We're going the right way, right? Dang, we gotta cut through this. Free bubble vader. <laughs> Where's those sponges we got the other day? Did you guys see that? The stream the uh, Friday night? Friday Night Madness. First we had crazy time with villagers. And then we did Ocean Monument raiding for sponges. Tango needs sponges for reasons. And, uh... Skiz was... I think, I think he's fairly... Skiz is fairly new to Ocean Monument raiding, so... <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle. I'm just gonna block this off. He was having a rough go of it. I think I I watched back. I was trying to. It's because I was having a rough go of it. He kept dying and stuff, and I think he got a little frustrated. But so I watched back part of his stream, and I realized what he was doing was he he was putting down one door. To block off the guardian but then he was exposed on the other three sides and that's why he kept dying where i was going into a corner so that i already had two sides blocked off facing the wall putting down a door which essentially blocks you off this way and then i would put down a door here and then i was fully blocked off and that's all he was missing he was just missing a little bit of the the strategy but because of that, he kept dying and, and not getting a chance to kill the guardians. And uh, yeah, he definitely he definitely got a little frustrated. He has gone through a pretty rough time lately. So. But it's Skiz. He's resilient. Tango was doing the same thing. Oh, that's why I couldn't put that there. Oh, gosh. I thought that was going to fall on my head. All right, we made it through. Whew. Time is it? How are we doing on time? Wow, man, time's flying today. Hey, secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Oh, actually, this is great. Yeah, this is great. So I can actually open it up this way because it is gonna be big, right? So I'm gonna open it up this way. Uh, the one thing that's not great is all the. Ah! Hello. Not so secret tunnel. <laughs> what do we got here? It's not like a big opening, is it? That's it? He's just chilling in this bit? <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit of a jump scare there. Yeah, we'll open all this up. Oh. This part is gonna be a nightmare. Waterlogged caves are cool and all, except when they're in your way. I do need those sponges. I gave them to Tango. I think we're going to need them, though. You're right. Uh -oh. Um, I will block off this much. And then let's go get sponges. And then we'll sponge this out. And then that will that'll do good. Okay. Uh, Tango probably has him in his ender chest, though. I'll go look. Secret tunnel that 5,000 
people know about. You know what? I, um... In all my time streaming, I rarely, rarely look at the, the view count on my stream. I rarely look at it. Only if somebody brings my attention to it while I bother looking. Um... I don't know why that is. I just, I feel like I I wouldn't change a thing that I did if there was only one of you here or uh, 10 million of you here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't let the number, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say bother me. It's not bother me. It's obviously not bother me. But the number doesn't really change much for, for me when I'm streaming. I mean, honestly, it's cool and see so many people here, you get a little big head, but, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I never look. I just never bother to look. Some some streams will get over with and, and, like, Twitch will send me a little summary and sometimes I'll open it up and just, just see. I'll be like, whoa. I wouldn't have dreamed this many people were tuning in. So it's really cool. It's really humbling. Thanks, guys, for coming and hanging out. I know, I know. I, I I baited you here with the secret tunnel thing, didn't I? Is that what it is? Is that why you're all here? I say secret tunnel and you say how far? Is that a, is that a thing? You had me at secret tunnel. Baited, baited you for the view count. Uh, very masterful. Very masterful baiting. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> I don't have as much. <clears throat> what did I do with my sponge? <laughs> I'm gonna go check Tango storage room now. We're done. No more talking about that. Yikes. Brain. Maybe think a little bit before you let words come out your mouth, huh? <laughs> Wait! Skiz man logged on. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I bet you does Skiz have sponge from the other night or did you give it to Tango, you think? Ah, uh, Tango's got it all. Tango has to have it all, I bet. Let's go raid Tango's storage room. <laughs> there was that word vomit again. No. Sometimes it's just uncontrollably. Spews out. <laughs> Jeez. Yikes. Gosh, I hate it. This place is such a nightmare. Where? Is it in your under chest? It's gotta be in his under chest. There's no way. Right? I, I don't even know if he puts stuff in here anymore. It's probably in his new area. And I can't really go over to his factory. There's two. He's got two. I mean, is it even worth it? Look at he's got all the redstone in the world. I look, he puts his mini blocks in with his regular blocks. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I should. Wow. Did you feel that lag? It just happened. That was weird. I don't think I should go over to his new area because he's probably got stuff going on. I asked Cub. Cub might be our best bet here. Okay, that's the new way I'm going from now on. <laughs> How did it take me this long? I can't type! What happened? 
Lagging so bad. Yes. <laughs> the stream lags so bad that blocks went into my inventory. <laughs> All right. Um, best way to do this now. Yeah. Yeah. That is a long drop. Ah, they do need drying. Ugh. <laughs> Shoot. It's mainly just for this area. Um, 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 um. I was gonna real quick. I put away all that stuff. I was. I put away all that stuff, and now I actually need it. Shoot. Drop in the nether real quick. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. But do I really want to go back and forth for two? Or just do this real quick. All right. Oops. I made a mess. I make mess. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, for just two. If, if there was more, I'd, I'd say, yeah. Let's just do this since we're here. Secret tunnel. Is there no one else I could ask? I mean, Skiz might have some. Green might have some, but I am also looking at the time, and by the time I get it, we won't even have a chance to use it. Because I am ending stream in eight minutes. Tango! Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, Tango's setting up for stream, I bet. Tango's probably setting up for stream. All right. Let's see. About bang. Yeah, that was that was good. That was great. Wonderful. Okay. And we'll go bang. Aha. Uh -huh. That's pretty good. I don't have a hoe. Shoot. I should have brought a hoe. Okay, don't. Don't Tango I definitely didn't steal your stuff, man. Definitely didn't steal his stuff. I mean glitch. He glitched. Glitched into my inventory. <laughs> He's not even gonna miss these two. Or these honey blocks. <laughs> I, I the hoe has become a thing that you pretty much need to keep on you now. I never really thought that would come true, and here we are. I, I think there's enough uses now for a hoe that it's it's almost worth keeping it in your inventory. At least in your ender chest, which I don't think mine is either. Get yourself a netherite hoe. Right, that's uh you get an achievement for that or advancement, right? The serious dedication for doing that. <laughs> Look at I mean, we didn't have much to do. Two sponges is actually getting the job done. Somehow. Somehow. I'm telling you, there's like a copper vein that just runs along this entire place, see? It's pretty neat. <laughs> Always keep your hoe on you, yeah? There we go. Pretty much done. All that bit. Oh, how how much of it is here? Ooh, that's that's a bit rough. Okay. This is working though, because by the time one gets done, the other one, you know what I mean? We use it, and then the other one's done cooking. It's working for us. That's it. Ha ha. We did it. I think. Let's dig through and find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did a little bit more than we needed to, actually. Nice. I'm sure we'll run into a little bit more water. Mm -mm -mm. Sponge kind of sounds like salmon. Don't say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
No more. We can't handle anymore. We can't handle any more inappropriateness. I totally didn't say anything weird. Oh, jeez. Hello. Block this off. And you can go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun to decorate. I'm excited for these tunnels. I think we could do some really cool stuff with them. Okay, and then, yeah, here basically just do, I got to figure out where I want it exactly. We'll do a honey block elevator where you kind of walk into the honey block corner and it's like up, straight up, you know? Yeah, this will be cool. Obviously, it's going to be bigger than this. Like we said before, probably like round it out. Kind of curve it along here a little bit better. I know I'm doing like an angle. I need to do it right. And then this bit too. Um, so we're kind of like hugging the one side. So we'll open up a lot of this. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's see. Let me finish off. What time is it? Let me finish off digging this all the way to the end. Just to open it up a little bit so we can get a, a nice feel of walking through here. I'm kind of feeling the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibes. What do you guys think when it comes to like a sewer type tunnel? Maybe less dingy. We could put more kind of cool lighting in here though. Sewer cats, sewer cats. Yeah, we could do something, uh, a little throwback to that as well. Can I go left? He's probably set up for stream, right? Ooh, we're out of the beacon range. Shoot. I don't know how much I want to do a non-beacon range. That's going to get rough. What's the hole for? It's an escape route. It's to, uh, just in case anything ever happens in the city, you know. Something ever comes up in the city and they need to make a an escape to a safe place. They have a secret tunnel to a, a bunker. All right. Without the beacon, this is kind of lame. We're going to have to do something about that. But okay. So let's let's walk it. I need... If you land on a honey block, it still hurts you, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> I was like, can I put the honey on the ground and just land on it? Tosca, thank you so much for the thousand bits. You came here to hear me sing Secret Tunnel. Not disappointed. I've only sang it a million times a day, yeah? Uh, all right. Only one way to find out. Actually, that drop is not too bad. I really like the, the kind of like chest waterlogged thing I did. Powdered snow is better, for sure. Skiz has powdered snow, right? I have to buy it from him, though, don't I? You think my, you think my, my good buddy would just let me take it? No, nah, wait. What do you do with powdered snow? I forget. Oh, you put carpet on top of it. And then you don't get hurt. I was like, because you would sink through otherwise. I'm just going to do uh, a waterlog, a, a chest for now, if I have one. Redstone box? Yeah. I don't. Don't ask. It's weird. I'll bring ice. Unless I got some water buckets. Okay, I'll put one on both sides so we can go up and down at least. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and I think I'll switch it to powdered snow eventually. I like it. So, city evacuates. We don't need that. Evacuates. This door goes up. Oh, it'd be cool if I had like little flashing lights that could go on. Oh, man. Okay. Burp, burp, burp. Everybody in the city, evacuate to the bunker. Through the secret tunnel. I can survive this. Two hearts. <laughs> what was I worried about? Mm-mm.
Damn it. Okay. Torch. There. Okay, we'll land on that. Okay, and then we come through here. This has obviously got to open up, but I don't have beacon power. Come through here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Totally sewer cats vibe. Come through here. I like the curved turn. That was good. That was good. And then we come over here and there is an elevator up. Here somewhere. I'm just going to log this so we can fall. Yep, that's a good idea. I totally just ducked my head to look under that. I'm, I, I must still be in VR mode. <laughs> I'm in VR mode. I ducked my head to look under. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Boom. Elevator up. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. And then this will be our bunker area. We'll open this up. I have no idea how far back we can go. Do a cool bunker face here. All right. Oh my gosh, decked out in VR. Oh no, <laughs> terrifying. That would be so terrifying. I think that would have killed me. That drop was a good one. Secret tunnel. All right. I'm excited for this project. Because I can wing it. I can do whatever I want. This is something we can always work on in stream. Nice. And it's my base. I don't really... I finally have a, a, a space that I can call my base. And is part of Magic Mountain. I'm officially part of Magic Mountain. Very good. Very good. I'm excited for this plan. You guys want to see the building? That I've been hiding all stream? Pretty cool, huh? Yep, pretty cool. <laughs> you guys are going to have to wait. You guys are going to have to wait. It's coming out tomorrow, though. It's coming out tomorrow. I'll give you a close-up. I'll show you all the details. Ah, so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool. All right, we're going to wrap things up. You guys have been amazing. You guys have been amazing. Okay, there. That better? That better? <laughs> something. Give you something. <laughs> Just over the shoulder there. <laughs> All right, let's get a raid going. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you guys so much for your support today. It's been amazing. It's been a fun stream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will go get my video done this afternoon and get that out tomorrow for you guys. I'm like 90% there, so should not be a problem. Let's raid. Did you guys say Tango was, was streaming? Programming the factory? Really? I have a minute. Let's go bug him. Oh, I just gave you more. <clears throat> just doing a little shopping. Don't mind me. I can help you with sir. <laughs> That's not bad. How are you? How no, are actually, you? I was just returning to the, the the two sponge that you didn't have in your ender chest. Oh, you could you could keep those. You know, you kind of deserve some of them. Ah, uh, sorry, I'll just borrow from you guys. I mean, I don't think I, I need them too often, but I had a little bit of water uh, I yeah. ran into in my secret tunnel that I was making today. All right, now explain that. I caught the beginning of the stream for making a secret tunnel. You don't want it to be cyberpunk, but what's it? What, what's it for? It's uh, just to, uh, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a base. Like the city is not my base. Um, oh, okay. I don't, 
I don't have anything in the... I thought you were just going to live in that first building there with your storage room there. And stuff. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but then I realized, like, I don't really have a, a space in the mountain, so it kind of cast me as an outsider for the Magical Mountain yeah. crew. Fair enough. Um, plus, okay. if anything does ever go wrong in the cyberpunk city, you know, some sort of... I don't know, nuclear meltdown or something. Right, uh, right, you know, right. It'd be right. cool to have a place for the uh, all the all the occupants to flee to. So just in case there's a nuclear meltdown. Yeah, you Are never you know. There? You never know. So you know, secret in tunnel, my, oh, bunker yeah. in the bunker in the mountain, done. There it is. Plus, and I have a base, and I can build in a completely different style if I want to. Perfect. So. Perfect. Is it done and looking amazing? Or no, I just dug a tunnel. Today. You just got a little, little hole. Just right, dug gotcha. a hole. Yeah. <laughs> as much progress Ran as into we would some water. Hung out with Jem and Joel for a little mm -hmm. bit and mocked Etho, that kind of stuff, you know. Ooh, good, good. That what are you getting good. up to today? I saw your stream title and I'm a little nervous for you. Yeah, Pro I am too. Programming the fact, like Redstone on yeah. camera? Well, it's not really Redstone. It's just like, okay, this crafting module needs to craft this thing. So I got to get those recipes and put them in the filters. Okay. But then I got to program that binary thing to say like, okay, it needs resources 6, 19, and 31, right? You're going to brainificate that on stream. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It shouldn't be that hard, but you know. Do you, would it help or hurt if I sent a couple thousand viewers over to watch you do that? That'd be, that'd be cool. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd help you? Because, you know, that'd help you out a little bit. I'd like to just maximize that as much as possible. Yeah. That'd be I, great. I want as many eyeballs on yeah. you fumbling through redstone <laughs> as possible. So I'm going to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to send over the peeps. Now they know what they're in for. Hello, uh, peeps. They're going to watch you stumble around and, and maybe get a little glossy eyed themselves. Goes well, like we should be making sticks and barrels and things like that. Well, not okay. barrels. Barrels are tricky. Uh, okay. Planks, chests, all automatic today, hopefully. I'm okay. Hoping. That's it. We'll I'm sending them over. Guys, okay. go go give them, go give them some help. And yeah. I'll see you guys later. And you, you guys go make fun of Tango. I heard you were. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Make fun of Tango. I heard you were uh, <laughs> baiting your audience today. Oh.